Good morning, everybody. It is a, uh, it's just a slow start to the day here at uh, the uh, Milford Diner. Now I'm so confused, I don't even know where I'm at. So I'm in Milford, Delaware at the Milford Diner, and everybody is welcome to stop by. Going to be a busy morning. We got lots of different guests coming on, lots of different things going on, and we want to say good morning to you. So you're listening to a show. Uh, we have a lot of new listeners now, and um, we seem to be getting more every week, and we appreciate your feedback. If you ever want to share a comment, if you're on Facebook, just put it right there in the comments. We do love to know where you're at and what is the temperature of where you're at. But also, for those watching on TV Delmarva, you could shoot me an email if you want to, jim at wellers.com. We do love feedback. So this is a weekly show called Weller Does Delmarva. How long have we been doing it? 527 times. 527 times we've never, ever, ever missed a Saturday. So, um, okay, it's picture time. Linda is not here today. Thank you, Tracy, for doing that. And um, so, Linda, we miss you. So we miss you. We have some breaking news. It's a boy. We're going to tell everybody what that's about. After a while, we're going to let Colin do his segment first. Okay. So Colin Walls, Walls Service Center, TV Delmarva. And fine, fine day radio day radio yeah fine okay. day 1023 on the yep. air Over uh we are air. covering Over. south jersey and uh delaware coastal coastal delaware coastal we're delaware. calling it. we had some people from dover called in the other day we did yep we had somebody from farmington uh yep laurel harrington. seaford area yep yep so harrington people are getting it everywhere um, yep. it's a brand new radio station to delaware with a mission and a vision mm -hmm. a little bit different than uh what we're all used to, not a big corporate. We are a locally owned and operated radio station uh, trying to reach out. We started, uh, uh, my new show started uh, this week. We're doing Tuesdays yeah, right. and Thursdays. And uh, yesterday we had Five Star Friday. It was kind that of was cool. a bonus. It was a bonus, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And a lot of people called in and had some raving five star reviews. Right. And, um, and so it's not anyway. reviews for the radio station. It's or, actually reviews yeah. for businesses yes. uh, in yes. the community. So if you have a, so think of them. If think you have one, think of them because uh, I'm not sure when the next one will do, but right. just keep Might it in the done. back of your mind. Maybe write it down and you can call in and give a five star right. review of a up. business you have dealt with. It doesn't have but, to be one of our advertisers, it's just some right. a business Anywhere. in the community. Yeah. Yeah. But it was good. It, it was, was good. Very and good. And then some people had to struggle, <laughs> had to struggle to think of something. In yeah. Other words. But then once we got the pump rolling, once we primed the pump, people yeah. called it in. Two called for the same restaurant. It was pretty cool. So anyway, um, so it's a new show on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to noon. You are welcome to call in if you uh, want to put in a free plug for your business or something like that. You can. And uh, we do it at my business. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. So right. Today we to have noon. a full schedule. Thank you, Colin, for that. Yes. For reminding me. So, uh, yeah, that would be, that would be, Yes. Anyway, so what else is going on? Wall Service Center busy? Yeah, Wall Service Center is busy. Downtown selling plenty Milford. Of tires? Uh, we're selling tires, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw, I see when the orders come through, so I see when they're going to be delivered and when they're ordered. So, Do people uh, usually buy four or five? Uh, well, we had a guy, I think he's going to buy five. Did he just buy five or he wants to buy five? He wants to buy five. Price them out on five, yeah. Really? Yep, okay. which is not, usually it's four. Right, because they all got them. Sometimes it's two. Oh, yeah, two. Sometimes yeah. it's two. And the only distance Sometimes between one. The, the two in the front of the back <clears throat> and the other is about eight feet. Right. <laughs> but but somewhere <laughs> differently, too, in other words. Somewhere you know. differently. And sometimes, you know, you run over something and it yeah, cuts yeah, it, yeah. you know, to a point yeah. where it can't be fixed. Or now, you do fix flats, like though. We do, yeah. Right, yep. if it can be safely repaired. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yep. You rotate tires, you rebalance tires. Yep, there's little sensors that are in them that the... In the so way. we had somebody last week that... Uh, Two of the sensors were completely dead, okay. and two of them, the batteries were low on. So our, our, our okay. uh, little thing can tell us, you know, if the battery's low really? or if they're dead. Yeah. You can change the battery in one of those? No, the, you can oh, change okay. the whole sensor. I was thinking, how do you take that little sensor apart? <laughs> no. Okay. You have to change the whole sensor. So. Okay. And so anyway, that's what we did. We put four new sensors on the All tires. Right. Sometimes the spare tire even has one of those sensors really? on it. Yeah. I would yeah. almost want my spare to have a sensor. Well, it so, doesn't get checked that often. That's you know, right. A lot of people don't check yeah, them. I don't remember and, crawling underneath the vehicle yeah. and uh, checking the air oh, pressure now they're the spare. Underneath, not under the vehicle. They're in the like, back under all the stuff in there. Oh, and, wow. And, uh, yeah. So tires, alignments. repairs, alignments. 
Um, what else do you do there? You do um, oil changes, a lot of oil changes. We do, yeah. People's oil changes go longer, so um, it's a wise thing to consider rotating your tires when you. I have recommend, an oil uh, yeah. And if you, if you're doing an oil change, you know, every six thousand miles or so, I recommend rotating them every time you get yeah. an oil change. If you're on three thousand mile schedule, then you can do every other time. Right. So, Wall right. Service Center, downtown Milford, three hundred two. 422, what is it? 8110. 8110. Yep. Dial it in that order. I've All dealt right. with them for years. Good morning, everybody. This is the golden voice of Jim Weller you're hearing. So anyway, this is Weller Does Del Marva. It's Saturday morning. We're in the Milford Diner, and I see a few empty seats. So in other words, if you want to come here and eat, the diner is open. Breakfast is moving along, and um, I've already had breakfast, and it's going to be a great day right here at the Milford Diner in Milford, Delaware, okay? So we're going to take a picture real quick. Linda Bosco. A lot of dead time there. I was trying. All right. Alicia Hollis, Kent and Sussex Industries, what's going on? Good morning. How is you? Um, I'm doing pretty good. You going it's, to Apple Scrapple today? No, you know oh, I'm not. All right, I'm gonna well, you're going to miss it. I'm going to stay close to Milford. Okay, well, it's, it'll be right back next year. Same it time. will be. It will be. We've got another thing going on um, at KSI that's an annual event, and when that's that? a quarter auction. When is that? The quarter auction is next Friday, October okay. 20th. Okay. And it's so unique because KSI is not the one organizing it. Okay. We are so blessed to have... Um, a family member of one of our participants who organized. She's been doing this for a while. She has been. Yes. So it is their 11th annual quarter wow. auction. And it was kind of her idea. It was her idea. She actually approached me and said, hey. And said, you know, KSI's done great things supporting my brother, and this is something that we can do to give back to KSI. Right. And so they've been doing it. And through the COVID um, couple years, they actually did this right. by Facebook. I remember that. So um, I want to encourage people to go right. to their Facebook page okay. because she does an awesome job of posting the donations, oh, including a couple okay. of mats from, okay. from Wellers. Okay, good. So um, they had some pocketbooks. They actually had a business that donated $100. Oh, okay. So one of the quarter options will be a cash prize. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's so they're nice. so very unique. And um, so that's on October 20th. So okay. we're getting ready for that. Things that's are next Friday. Next Friday. What time? So the doors, well, the doors open at 5 30. Okay. So you can see all the auction items. And then they'll start doing the quarter auction at 7. Where is it? It's at Farmington Fire Hall. I'm glad you Farmington asked that. Farmington Fire Hall. So it's real close. We just had close. the mayor of Farmington on with us the other day. Am I right, Colin? Yeah. Yep. Wow. I forgot her name, but um, she was on chatting with us. Well, you guys do a great job of having so many different people on and sharing all of the events that go on around town um, and, and like Apple Scrapple, right. just all in the community. Yep. I also want to share something that people cannot maybe see going on at KSI. Okay. And that's inside of our building. We've been having renovations done. Oh, really? So for those okay. people who have toured KSI before, you know it's this big warehouse right. that's right. been industrial for all these years. So what they're doing now is making it a little bit more... Um, office-like or classroom-like okay. so in the very little back of our building cubicles or big room rooms. Okay. sound system okay. um but so it was so big at the beginning you could have turned a tractor trailer around exactly there. and okay. what that meant is that if in that big area we had two different groups some of the sound was yes, intermingling yep. and maybe i'm in this group but i'm listening to what's happening over right. here so they'll have two separate rooms in the back okay. now and the the idea is that we'll continue improving throughout the building really? one step at a time. Okay. So we'll be having a, an so. open house ribbon cutting at some point so Not people can year. see. Um, you know, it may actually happen in December. Oh, really? okay. It may because okay. they've been working on that back area for okay. a while now and it's getting close to where we can can okay. show it off. And the importance of that is that we need people in the community to realize that um, we still need support. Okay. So financial. Financial support, okay. absolutely. Um, just things are changing and growing. So 
So we've got the quarter auction coming up. We've been doing renovations. We're still working on our 2024 calendar so okay. that we can send out. We do about 5,000 calendars. Really? And yeah. And so you so, print them and send them out. Right. But there's underwriting that can be put. Absolutely. Right? A couple so, different ways. So people can be calendar patrons, which is a minimum donation of $25 okay. or more. All right. And we also have calendar monthly sponsors. But only 12 of them. Actually, we have 24 because what we've okay. started doing is putting one at the top of the calendar right. and one at the bottom of the calendar. Okay. Top and the bottom. So, so, so is we there only any have openings left. We only have three openings at this particular really? point. Okay. Yeah. So we've right. we've gotten twenty. Well, I'm going to do it if you're waiting on my answer. Oh, lovely! Okay. I was. Okay. Yep. Okay. I just. So you know, we've been so busy with. We just had a golf tournament, and we had a 5K, and we just got done with Camp Lenape. So I'm just now reaching out to some okay. of those calendar sponsors to okay. say, hey, can we count on you again this year? So what a blessing! You know, we've gotten twenty just in the last week so basically. you've only got three openings left we've got three openings what is it five hundred dollars five hundred dollars okay and yep. so if you took five thousand dollars five hundred dollars divided by five thousand calendars you get a pretty good deal you get a pretty good bang for your buck right you do. okay and you so. know it shows the community and in my opinion it shows the community that you care about people with disabilities right. and and abilities right. and right. um you want to help out Exactly. Right. So Wellers so has been a huge supporter of KSI. And oh, I wouldn't say huge, but... Oh, I would say huge, okay. and I can say okay. that. All right. So, yeah, you've, you've definitely made a difference over, over well, the many years that to. we've known. I appreciate what you do. Thank you. In other you. words, I have many friends who work there and family members that are connected, and it's just a good all-around thing, and I would I encourage... So, I so count my blessings that I get to be there because um, my, my job... Is it working with the individuals that we serve? It's kind of out in the community and telling them what we do. But in order to do my job, I get to interact right. with the people that we serve. And, right. and it enriches my day. Enriches well, you've been me. there a long time doing a good job. Thank you so much. All right. Is Thank there anything you. else? Um, the phone number for KSI is 302-422-4014. You can always call that phone number and ask for me. They'll get that message to me. I can share information about the quarter auction if you like, or you can go to Facebook to Friends of KSI. Okay. Friends of KSI. KSI and like that page. Like that page. Look at some of the different items they've had donated and support us however you can. Okay. Thank well, you. Well, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank, Thank you, you for the for opportunity. All you do. And um, I'll take one of those, okay? Awesome. If you don't mind. Lovely. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, Alicia. Thank you. All right, Kent and Sussex Industries, if you've never took the tour, you might want to consider that. If you're uh, planning your year-end donating, it's a great organization that, that serves our community well. L&W Insurance Agency. Let's brag on them for just a minute. Who likes buying insurance? Nobody. Who likes being adequately insured? Everybody. So everybody wants it as cheap as they can get it. But they uh, really, the test of whether you bought the right insurance or dealt with the right insurance agent is when you have a claim. So I just want to speak on my behalf, on my situation. I got plenty of things going on. We have claims all the time. They never make me feel bad. They don't drop me. Um, I'm just letting you know if you need insurance, uh, whether you have a business, whether you own a radio station, whether you own a billboard, whether you do a local live show, whether you um, need liability insurance, homeowner's insurance, renter's insurance, motorcycle insurance, whatever type of insurance, if you need insurance, L&W can help you out. They're friendly, they're knowledgeable, they're priced right, they look for the best value. And uh, they, they talk to you in a way that you will understand insurance. Even if you don't want to understand insurance, you're going to understand it. Because most people, the only thing they shop is price. And that is the last thing you should think about when you're buying insurance. You should think about, is it am I adequate, adequately covered? 
Is this deductible too high, too low? If I raise the deductible, I may lower my premium. Is it worth it? Well, if it's times 30 properties, it might be worth looking at. So I just want to let you know, L&W will give you choices. They'll give you options, and they will talk to you and talk with you, not just quote you a price, knowing that they need to exclude enough things to be the lowest price. That's not how they sell insurance. They listen to you. They talk to you. They learn about what your needs are. They, uh, they try to minimize your risk. So anyway, it's LNW Insurance Agency. You can tell I like them. I like them because when I need them, they're there. And when I need them, I find out I was adequately insured, okay? I had a guy one time write us a fraudulent check. Not a bad check, a fake check, okay? A fake check. It was one that got all the way through, and it was not a real check. And I had no idea that I was insured for something like that, okay? In other words, so because I couldn't prosecute them for giving me a bad check because we took a check that wasn't even real, all right? But it looked real. And um, I forgot what it was, some type of a fraud thing or whatever. And I was insured for that. So I was like, well, save me $9,000 just on that one. So anyway, I just want to let you know if you need insurance, you want to talk about insurance, L&W has been good for Wellers, all right? The phone number is 302 856 7828. That's 856 7828. LWinsurance.com on the web and like them on Facebook. They're very active there. Today is a big day in the Weller household. Now, you will see if you're watching on TV or Facebook or YouTube, behind me it says it's a boy, okay? And we put this up because today is our little boy's birthday. No, we didn't put it up for that. But uh, Terry, the uh, owner of the diner, her daughter is um, celebrating the fact that she's going to have a little boy. So Terry's going to be a grandmom again. I think it's a little ways off, but I think they're having a baby shower here today or something like that. I don't even know how they have baby showers before the baby's born. You know what I mean? Because how do you shower a baby that's not even been born yet? But anyway, I'm just saying that uh, that's what I think's going on here today in the background. But today is our son, Denise and I. Uh, Jimmy's Jimmy Weller's birthdays today. I remember when he was born. He was just a little boy 35. 35 years old. We went out to dinner last night went to a very nice restaurant that fortunately sold sweatshirts uh, Because we ate outside <laughs> you could wait 30 minutes to eat outside or an hour to eat inside So we decided to eat outside and buy two sweatshirts, right? Went pretty good um, Everybody else that was with us brought a jacket except for Denise and I well, you had a jacket I just didn't have anything. So anyway, it was good. Happy birthday, Jimmy Weller. We love you. We appreciate you. You've grown into a fine young man, and Jimmy and Lindsay are off for the weekend. Uh, at Weller's, you get your birthday off with pay. So uh, that's kind of a big thing, and people like that. So, uh, And we really want you to take your birthday off on your birthday. A lot of people don't want to. It's Saturday. It'd be a good day to be selling stuff, but we really like you to take your birthday off at Weller's. So anyway, Jimmy's off today. He's going somewhere. And he's real worried about a bear. They're camping in something out in the woods somewhere. Virginia. West Virginia or Western Maryland. I don't know where they're going, but he had all kinds of bear-related questions, okay? Um, uh, he wants to know how to fight one off. I want to know how to survive. Survive the scratches and the scars, in other words. So anyway, happy birthday, Jimmy. All right. Let's brag on our chiropractor. Um, I'm really proud of him, Dr. T and Dr. Bud, Peninsula Chiropractic Center. Denise woke up the other day and she said, um, I've got a, a, a cranker or something in my back, in other words. And uh, normally she has a pain in her neck named Jim, but it wasn't that. In other words, it wasn't me this time. But anyway, uh, she called and got an appointment and got in. They did an adjustment. She's very happy. So they're a sponsor of the show, Peninsula Chiropractic Center and Dr. T and Dr. Bud, doctors of uh, chiropractic, do a great job. So if you've been somewhere and not got the results you're hoping for, if you've never been to a chiropractor and you're nervous or uncomfortable, check out Peninsula Chiropractic Center in Seaford, Delaware. On the web, it's PeninsulaChiroCenter.com. Very friendly, very accommodating, very sociable. Um, just a great place. Been in business over 30 years. And uh, the phone number is 302-629-4344. That's 629-4344, Peninsula Cairo. Center.com and yes, they are on Facebook. Give them a call. They'll make you an appointment and they'll get you in. They accept most insurances. They accept cash, whatever you may need. Listen, today is Apple Scrapple. And if you're going to Apple Scrapple or you happen to need a pop-up canopy, 
We have these for only 100 bucks at Weller's in Bridgeville. And they're not a cheap, cheesy one. This is a 13 by 13. It's a brand called Coleman. And um, a good quality. It has a retail price of $229. We are more than half price. Okay? More than 50% off of retail. We got a deal on them. They're brand new in the box. They come in a little bag with, with a handle and wheels on it. Anyway, $100 if you need one for today at Apple Scrapple. Or if you need one just in general, we've got them at Weller's in Bridgeville. Another thing I want to do is I want to mention another good sponsor of the show, which is Fitzgerald's. Uh, you hear me talk about them all the time. They're right there on 113 in Lincoln. This is a sponsor segment. We appreciate the Fitzgerald family. And uh, they, they buy scrap metal, and they buy it every day, all day long. So if you got some metal laying around your house and you're like, oh, I don't have any metal. Well, what about that old washer and dryer that's in your backyard that's getting on your neighbor's nerves? Or, uh, you know, you got some old appliances or you got a gas grill that's just sitting around rusting or something like that. They buy junk metal. Now, at Weller's, we have this great big container that they leave, and we fill it up with metal. So I'm just letting you know that Fitzgerald Salvage and Recycling on 113 in Lincoln buys scrap metal. They buy junk cars. Now, you might have a junk car in the backyard, and you have no way of getting that to Fitzgerald's. You give them a call, and they will come and pick it up, okay? They will pick it up, and they will pay you for it, all right? So anyway, it's Fitzgerald Salvage and Recycling. They also sell used auto parts so if you need a fender a hood a door whatever or if you happen to need a whole motor or transmission or any parts in between they sell used auto parts there at fitzgerald's in lincoln so where are they lincoln they also sell crushed concrete a lot of people that buy sheds um they like to put some uh, crushed concrete down some people put it in their driveways maybe you got some potholes or whatever and uh, you want to just fill them up they sell crushed concrete, okay? So anyway, it's Fitzgerald Salvage and Recycling. They're on Route 113 in Lincoln City, Delaware. Right on the highway, you can't miss them. They've been there for over 80 years. Phone number 302-422-7584. 422-7584. Fitzgerald's.us on the web, and they are very active on Facebook. All right, so today is Apple Scrapple. It is a rain or shine event. I just want to let you know that it's going to happen, and um, there's a lot of vendors there, and it's just going to be a good time. If you've never been to Apple Scrapple, this is a big, huge festival right downtown Bridgeville. Um, you can park. Um, they have parking places you can park. Uh, parking is free, and then they bus you. Right into town, the buses just run a continuous loop. You can get in, you can get out. Um, it's a really great day to check out Apple Scrapple. Rain or shine, it's going to happen. Now, 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 now. I want to say Weller's is going to be open at 8 o'clock uh, this morning. It's a busy day already planned, they tell me. Uh, we're going to be joined after 7.30. We're going to be joined via the Internet. Chuck Creighton, we're going to bring him right on the show while he's at Weller's in Bridgeville. It's the coolest thing. Um, so anyway, we're going to be doing that after 7.30. we got lots of different guests today. We have a very busy morning. So if you want to stop by and break bread with us and have breakfast, there's a few booths open. Uh, there's room in the other end of the, the, the diner, too. But we're at the Milford Diner, and we would love, we would love for you to stop by and say hello. And um, if time allows, I'll give you a little mic time, and um, you could say hello on the show. We'll see how that goes. But let's talk about ice cream real quick, and we're going to give some gift cards away. So get your phone ready. Get your phone ready. I'm going to talk about Vanderwind's ice cream. You can call in and get yourself two gift cards to Vanderwind's for free. But if you've won in the past week or two, please give somebody else a break, uh, a chance to, you know, get through. We do only have one phone line. We usually get more phone calls than we can take. So, you know, in fairness to other people, if you've won in the past two weeks, how about, you know, not call in today and let somebody else have a break or, you know, let them have your gift cards. So we're giving away two gift cards to Vanderwins. It's this simple. You pick up the telly. You call me right this minute, 302-422-7336. 302-422-7336. If you want two gift cards to Vanderwins, you pick them up at Weller's in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday through Saturday. They'll be waiting for you, and they are free. No purchase necessary. You just have to call me right now. This is Vanderwins Farm Creamery, uh, the Vanderwin family. They have like four locations. Some of them are seasonal. But if you want ice cream, like a cone, a quart, a pint, or a cup, or a banana split, or you want a milkshake, Vanderwins 
has great ice cream. And we appreciate their support of the show. We appreciate their support of our community. The Vanderwin family has been around a long time involved in many things. So if you happen to want two gift cards to Vanderwins, you need to call me on the telephone right this minute, okay? Because after 7.30, that offer is off the table. So at 7.24, the phone lines are open, 302-422-7336. Now, I got another birthday. This is a little more serious, all right? This is a friend of mine named Rob Book. Many people know Rob. I believe he is the president of the Delaware Electric Co-op. And Rob is currently in the hospital awaiting a heart transplant. So today happens to be his birthday, but I want to encourage all my friends to pray for Rob and his family as he goes through this um, heart transplant. So um, he's uh, waiting for a heart, to be quite honest with you. So a uh, happy birthday, Rob. I'm actually going to go see Rob tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. So anyway, um, so happy birthday, Rob Book. We appreciate you. We miss you. And it's all going to be fine. And we're looking forward to you being with us in person. All right. Now. What else is going on? I got to talk about a couple other things. Has the phone rang yet? No. What's up? 302 422 73. I cannot believe that. Now, that was odd, <laughs> unless they're testing it over there. Caller, are you there? Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Who am I talking to? Mary Lou. Mary Lou? How's Mary Lou been? Pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. Can't complain. All right. Are you not allowed to or you just don't feel like it? No. No. Okay. No, everything is good. All right. Are you calling for the Vanderwins gift cards? I sure am. Have you ever been to Vanderwins? Yes. Uh, do you have a favorite flavor? Uh, the peanut butter peanut butter all right well that's good well we're going to um all right you hear that okay well anyway we're going to set two gift cards aside for you at weller's in bridgeville okay okay what are thank you doing you. today I appreciate that <laughs> well thank you what do you got planned for the day mary lou uh, oh it's supposed to be an ugly day i think i'm just going to stay in okay that's probably a good idea Maybe just bake today Okay, just bake. All right. Are you watching on TV or listening on the radio? I'm listening on the radio. All right. Well, thank you. Well, thanks for calling, and there will be two gift cards waiting for you next week at Weller's, Tuesday. Okay, thanks, Jim. Thank you, Mary Lou. Bye-bye. All right, bye -bye. there we go. That's how easy it is to win two gift cards. You're not winning them. You're not winning them. We're giving them to you. They're a gift. They're a gift. There's no prizes here. Um, that's a gift, all right? So anyway, um, I just want to let you know that if you would like to gift cards to Vanderwins, you just pick up the phone, dial 302-422-7336. It's that simple, okay? So the phone lines are working. Now, what else is going on? I want to brag on my power washing guy. His name is Donnie Donovan, and it's Blue Wave Power Wash. And um, whether you need to get the, the green stuff off your house, whether you... What was that? I don't know. I'm hearing myself come back. It's kind of the coolest thing. But anyway, I just want to say that Donnie Donovan owns and operates Blue Wave Power Wash. Blue Wave Power Wash, okay? And so whether you need your deck cleaned or your sidewalks or you got some slime on your house or you got a big building you want cleaned up or you got some equipment you're going to put away for the winter and you want to get that cleaned up, you give Donnie a call, 302 853-0968, 853-0968, Blue Wave Power Wash. Look him up on Facebook and um, like his page, too, if you would. He's good, he's fair, he's honest, he'll do a good job. We're taking a break from the radio. We'll be right back. All right, here we go again. Colin Walls, Walls Service Center, TV Delmarva, Fine Day Radio. It's everything. That's right, yeah, good oh, morning. Oh, my gosh. Colin's a busy man, I will say that. I am, I can say he that, too. He wears many hats and juggles things well. So, what Just do you gotta think? got to get busy Crowd. on that FRN. Oh, yeah, yeah, because <laughs> I'll have another reminder on Monday. So, All right. Anyway, um... Oh, there's a phone call. There's a phone Caller, call, Caller, are you there? Caller, are you there? 
Yes, I am. How you doing, Jim? This is Ivory. Ivory, how in the world is Ivory? I'm doing good, Jim. All right. Hanging right in there. Right. I'm just listening at you a little bit uh, this morning. I'm doing some counseling that I have to do, but before they come online, I'm sitting listening at you guys. Okay. How are we doing for you? Doing good. Hey, I want to give a great big shout out to Colin Wells. Uh, his his team got my car ready for uh, the inspection and what have you. You know this new deal that they're doing with the inspection. Uh -huh. It's kind of technical, so they took my car up there and they got me ready to go on through, man. Did they do a good job? Absolutely great job. Wow. Well, thank you, Ivory. We appreciate the business, and uh, hopefully it won't be such a hefty bill next time you come in. <laughs> that was a... Hey, uh, oh, so you... <laughs> hey, so Colin, you saw my numbers, did you, buddy? I did. Oh, yeah, I did. That one caught my attention. <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, you know, you worked on the transmission for Evelyn's car as well as get, getting it ready for inspection. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Best money I ever spent. It was a hefty bill, but I, I laughed all the way driving down the road because it was well done, buddy. Well, good. Yeah. Good. So that's Just, great. So we really do appreciate your business, Ivory, and thank you for supporting yeah, us. All right. Well, look, you guys, I'm going to have to run because my okay. counseling session is going to come out. All right. Bye-bye right. now. Bye. All right. See you. Bye. All right. There you go. You know what? Some things seem expensive, but really good quality service and parts is really priceless. Well, and and he's got he's got some nice vehicles. He's got yes, he these Yukon Denali's. Right. And have you ever bought one of those? You ever seen the price on one of those, Jim? Yeah, I have. So I would. <laughs> you know what the price part. of a Yukon is? Yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, yeah. So fixing the transmission on them is is you know an option now. You know maybe it wasn't right. a few years ago when the price. So that's were lower, what you did. Fix the transmission. Yeah, we did. We did quite a few things on it. Yeah. Okay. So things. what you're Rear saying is CEO. whatever somebody needs done, just get it to Wall Service Center. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Was it less expensive than buying a new vehicle? Oh uh, yeah. You know, it was less expensive than the down payment on a new vehicle. I have a. a couple friends and they have like a theory if whatever the repair is is less than three car payments it's worth doing the repair oh okay All you right. know and you figure some car payments now can be eight nine hundred dollars a month some of them are over a thousand some of them are a yeah. thousand wow yeah. okay yep. so anyway boy the place is filling up um, filling in good yeah that's yeah. great good. so anyway um we have a lot of people coming in okay. and so we got it Go ahead. So anyway, do we want to talk about Fine Day Radio I real think we quick? Should. All right, well, let's we talk about it. So you're listening to Fine Day Radio 102.3 over the air. Uh, uh, the tower is in Wildwood, New Jersey. Yes, it is. We're licensed to Cape May, New Jersey, but yes, it covers yeah. it covers uh, southern New Jersey, South right. Jersey, and coastal Delaware. So it goes a little further inland in Delaware, but we don't like to say that because it's almost like but a the guarantee. the most important thing is just download the app. Exactly. Yeah. Download, download the, the app. app. That way, even if you leave the country, you can still watch the show. If you've got internet, you can watch the show. <laughs> yeah, it does. It is restricted in some countries. Oh, I didn't know it that. It is. Yes. Yeah. So they're restricted. Somebody needs to go test it in every country and let us know. And let what us countries. know which countries it's yeah. restricted in. Yes. Okay. Well, anyway, Fine Day Radio. If you ever want to, you know, be on the show or give us a call. Mm -hmm. If you want to advertise, we would love to talk to you. Um, if you want to come to Workforce and sell advertising, we'd oh, love to we talk go. to you. So <laughs> we're looking for somebody, you know, to help in many ways. We're just getting started. So if you have any questions, I'm just going to give you my cell phone number. It's 302-542-9157. 542-9157. If you want to work for us, you want to sell for us, mm -hmm. you want to um, buy advertising, or you want to be on Call me, call me, call me, or text and, me. And we have opportunities to sell different things, too. So yes, we we've do. So we got TV Delmarva, Channel 14, over the air here yes. in, in uh, Sussex County, Delaware. And also, Jim has several Electronic billboards. Billboards, that's Electronic right. So, billboards. yeah, if you want to come to work for us and sell, you can sell TV, you can sell radio, and you can sell billboard, okay? That's right. So we got lots of opportunities for you. You could do it part-time. You could do it full-time. Um, let's talk about it. That's all we yeah. got to do. All right, but we are a new radio station, uh, 102.3, a uh, little bit upbeat, looking for, you know, some positivity in this world, and uh, we would like you to be involved. So if you own an organization or you own a business and we can help promote you or, or help you sell, say, say, sell, or promote something, we'd love to help you. It's that simple. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do a live show called, um, really, Jim Weller Live, Midday Marketplace. Call it what He's you He's calling want. all kinds of things. I am. Yeah. <laughs> But, and uh, listeners are calling it some other things, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I was the lowest bidder for the job. So uh, we do have a good time. All right. It's no joke. We have a good time. We do. Today. Yeah. All right. So what else is up? TV Delmarva is moving right along. TV Delmarva. So we've got uh, Wednesday. We've got the Milford Parade coming up. We're going to be broadcasting about the that. Milford Community Parade. I, I think see it Charles steps off there. at 630 is what I'm thinking. Yeah. 
All right. I and we're so. at the Milford Church of God. We're sitting there. That's right. Part of their, because what I like about them is they have some of the best chocolate chip cookies <laughs> on the parade route. Okay. And bathrooms are closed. And bathrooms are closed. Yes. Um, and um, I just want to let you know that the parade is this Wednesday. Everybody's invited. And uh, if you're going by, holler to me. I'll be working the sidewalk. I'll be out there. I, is that what I'm doing? That's, yeah, yeah. Okay. You will I'm be. You'll be out the there. Crowd, with the so Jim will be out there. I'll be on the stage, uh, and Jessica Martinez will be on the stage with me, and we'll be doing the calling of the parade. So we'll right. be reading the script. And I'll be interviewing people whether my microphone's on or not. <laughs> right. And You'll Jessica will be, will be pronouncing all the hard words. Right, right. All everything, those lawyers' names. Right, everything that <laughs> has to be pronounced correctly is That's not right. me. So I just know all the people is that. So anyway, it's okay. this Wednesday, That's this right. Wednesday. This Wednesday. Yeah, tune in to TV Delmarva, Channel 14, over the air. Point your antenna towards Seaford, tvdelmarva.com, or download the app on your Roku device or TV. All right. Thank you, Colin. Thank you. Colin Walls, Jim Weller here. Weller does Delmarva. We were talking about the Milford Community Parade. That is when it is this, this Wednesday. Is Chuck there? All right. Chuck Creighton. How you doing, young man? I'm doing good. Doing real good. All right, and um, I believe the crowds are picking up in the Bridgeville area. Yep, I went around, had to go around Bridgeville today to get here. They've uh, you know closed the town right down in the middle. Really? It's going to be big. Uh, like, There's going to yeah, be thousands yeah, always, of people in the neighborhood. It's a rain or shine event. So. Yeah, and it's just starting to rain out here. Okay, and you're having a rain or shine event at Weller's today? All day long, yes, rain or shine. We'll sell right. you the best trailers out there. Okay. Well, we're ready for you. What's that trailer you got behind you? This is a B-Wise 8.5 by 20 5-ton deck over. Ooh, um, heavy duty. I, it's made by V-Wise. And actually, this is a, a medium-duty trailer, uh, you know, which makes it nice, and that's what I want to kind of point out this morning. But B-Wise will come standard with your adjustable channel. This has a 2 and 5 coupler, and it's adjustable for different type trucks. Or you could always change that out to a pedal ring. Okay, you have a um, choice. Then it's standard with this uh, heavy duty 12,000 pound drop leg jack and the foot on it that extends down so you don't have to crank so much. It's a spring loaded foot so it picks itself right up. Oh, I like that. And it's got lockable storage up here in the tongue. Okay. You can, uh, you can put your chain binders or anything in there and keep them locked up tight so they don't walk off on you. Okay. Trailer is eight and a half wide. The deck is eight and it's got a rub rail on the outside here that extends out eight and a half. But you get pockets and a rub rail down the whole length of the trailer. gives you tie downs down the whole length of that trailer. Okay. Or if you had to build sides, it'd be easy. Absolutely. These are two before pockets. You could put sides on it and carry whatever you want or keep whatever you want on the trailer so you don't have to worry about it bouncing off. Uh, this is 16 foot flat with a four foot tail. So from the headboard to the ramps is 20 foot, but that last four feet slope down. The purpose for that is to make it easy loading up over top of the wheels. It's a deck over trailer. Mm -hmm. So it has six foot ramps and a four foot tail that gives you 10 foot of incline. Okay. Real easy to load that because that, of the extra height of the trailer, you know. Um, just a nice feature. And they slide. If you look around back here, Mike is on my camera here. It will they'll slide within about 18 inches of each other. Okay. So if you have small equipment or large equipment. You well, you could even load a four-wheeler on that thing. They'll slide right, right together. Exactly. Okay. You could do a lawnmower, four-wheeler, or the big, you know, compact tractor, whatever you have. So this is a, what's, what I like about this trailer, it's a, like I said, medium duty. It's not crazy long like a three-axle or the tandem duels like we have from Winston. This is a, a nice little trailer that you can put a compact tractor with a loader to bush hog on, get around like if you're running around a, a neighborhood, you don't have to worry about being so big and, and golf you out there on the road working. Okay, and it's by being a deck over, it's also easy to load it from the side. If you had a pallet right. or something and you wanted to load with a forklift, there's no rails sticking up on the sides. Right, nothing to obstruct it. You're going to get a pallet load of uh, pellets or something or in the season now to go buy your pellets for the uh, for the uh, winter time. You could get four or five pallets on there with ease and uh, bring it home and store it up in your garage. All right, that's a treated wood floor. Treated wood floor, yes, sir. All right. So, how much money is that thing? Is it over ten grand, under ten grand? It is under ten grand. I'm sorry, is I got to really? look at the camera. I'm walking away, yeah. Oh, it is. I'm looking up front here. It is priced at ninety-five forty-seven. Ninety-five forty-seven. That's a twenty twenty-three. That's a twenty twenty-three. 
2023, yes, sir. That's pretty good. I like that little sticker. So it's been reduced some. 600 yeah. bucks, all, okay. Can that all be bought? Trailers have these stickers. All these trailers have stickers on them. Like if you're out here shopping when we're closed, right. you can get the pricing right here when, the, when you're here, whether we're here or not. Can somebody buy it today? Like how does a trailer purchase go? Somebody comes in, they talk to you about a trailer. Can they purchase and leave with it today? Absolutely. We'd uh, we sit down, start doing the paperwork from start to finish. It's about an hour process, according to how you did it. Some financing takes a little bit longer, but if you come in, write a check or use a credit card or pay us cash, I could have you in and out of here within an hour with a 90 day temporary tag from the DMV. Whether 90 you're days? Delaware or out of state. Are tags uh, 90 days? In. They just changed it. Yeah, last month they changed it to 90 I days. I did not get that memo. 90 yeah, days. kind of surprised me too. Yeah, we just kind of found out by. We started printing them. <laughs> <laughs> and they thought it was a misprint. Well, we went to the website when we, when we found it, and there it was. It was on the website. And um, let me ask you this. Uh, did they change the price of a temporary tag? Nope. Still still cost the same $20. Wow, that's amazing. All right, all it means is they're taking forward. longer to get the tag work done. Yeah, and actually they're doing pretty good there too. They used to be when the, when the COVID stuff was going on. They got really far behind, but now they're doing a pretty decent job. All right. So are you complimenting the motor vehicle? Is that what you're doing, Chuck? Not often, but yes, I will today. <laughs> right now, we're happy with them. <laughs> All right. Anything else we need to know? You guys open yet? Uh, we're here. We can tell you, if you're ready to come buy something, we'll sell you something right now. All right. We're here. Uh, we're here till 2 o'clock today. Okay. Um, and uh, you can give us a call if you want to ask us any questions at 302-337-8228. You can always check our inventory out online at www.wellers.com. That's right. open 24 hours a day. Is it? Yes, sir. All right. So we're on the World Wide Web, not just the Bridgeville Web. Right. If you're in China and want to see what's going on at Wellers, you can, you can check us out. All right. Chuck, thanks a lot, and um, I appreciate you very much. Chuck's the uh, manager there, and he's a nice, friendly guy. He does a good job, and uh, most people like him, don't they? Most, most people that I talk to, yes, sir. <laughs> That's the ones you don't talk to. <laughs> All well, right, see you. I'm not real sure. Have All a good right, weekend, we'll Chuck. Bye bye. All right, you too. Bye, bye bye. I'm very fortunate. I've got Chuck, I've got Mike, I've got Jimmy, I've got Rosa. I've been very blessed with a good team of people there at Wellers in Bridgeville. Okay, real quick, uh, we did already say happy birthday to Jimmy Weller. So happy birthday. And um, what else we got? We got Mr. Charles Gray. I can't believe it. This guy is a real nice, friendly dude. Um, every time I see him, oh, it's picture time. I'm sorry, Charles. I get in trouble when I don't do this right. <laughs> and Linda is not here today, so we miss her. Tracy's doing a great job, but she's saying, I wish Linda was here. But anyway, um, Milford Community Parade is coming, right? Very shortly, yes. Like Wednesday. Wednesday. This is Wednesday. It, is it called Step Off? Is it 630? Is that what you call it? Sure, we can go with that. Okay, what do you call it? How's it? <laughs> step off. Step off, okay. Now, you have been involved with this parade since you were probably a little boy. Yes. Your mom and dad. Um, yes. Like, they didn't dream it up, did they? No, they did not. They okay. did not. But no, you would they're... think they were the inventors of this parade. I mean, yes. every corner you turn, the, they're, they're involved. And yeah. um, thank you. Thank you. Heart, heart and soul. They put yeah. their heart and soul into Your it. Your whole just, family. Just as well way. as the rest of the family and the committee. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So the parade started in 1938. Oh, okay. So, okay. Uh, and, and in 1988, uh, the current committee uh, came on board really? um, with the assistance of the uh, at then mayor okay. uh, Ronnie Rogers okay. and um, at the uh, leadership of Jim Gray, my dad. Okay, so, wow. Yes. Was your dad a councilman, or I mean, what inspired? No, he him was to a so he, he was a uh, he was a leader in the community with the uh, local JCs. Okay. Uh, which previously he was the state president of the JCs wow. organization. So. So he's always okay. been actively yes. involved. Yes. In yes. Okay. And equally, he's been a uh, community barber. That's for, right. For more than sixty-five years. He's cut a mess of people's hair. Yes, he has. So he's, when you say cut up. He's, he's the epitome he's of a cut-up. <laughs> well, and by his side for years has been your mom. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. and you have a sister involved in things. And I have, I have two people. sisters, yes, and uh, cousins and nephews and, oh my gosh, you know, it's, it's, my and, daughter. 
And on Wednesday night, you're going to see these people because they're so involved. They're smiling. They're happy. They just, it's their Super Bowl, more or less. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's, that's, it's, that's exactly right. That's, a, that's a good term. That's yeah, a good and term. And it's just a blessing yeah. to the community because without all of these hardworking volunteers, this thing wouldn't happen. Right, exactly. You know? and, so. and we do and we do count on a lot of volunteers. We yeah, a really, lot really of do. Them. And, yeah. um, you know, one I'd like to point out is the fire police. Yes. Okay. Um, they really are unsung heroes when it yeah. comes to, you know, tragedy, emergency. You know, they're there helping keep everyone else safe around yeah. that area. And uh, they help us immensely every year. And they have been right along our side. Ever since we took over 35 wow. years ago, um, just like the fire company, the police department, all the departments in the city, we, we, yeah. we couldn't ask for a better partnership with the city. Even guys that go put the lights up. Yes. The I guess it's the electric department, you know, right. in other words, right. I mean, right. the city of Milford, but um, right. it's just a good community, the porta potty people, everybody. Right, you right, know. right. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. So it's this Wednesday night. Is there any needs? Is there anything you need? Is there a need that needs to be fulfilled between now and Wednesday? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. We need everyone to know where they can get their information from. That's a great idea. Which is milfordparade.com. Okay. And uh, we have, unlike many parades, we have three reviewing stands. Oh. Good. Okay. So not just one. So you three be on your reviewing best stands. At least of course. Three times. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And so the, the parade route is 1.7 miles. So there's room for everybody to come and enjoy okay. it. Okay. But at those three spe specific locations, okay, we have uh, announcers. Okay. And uh, our announcers lined up this year are Gary John. Okay. Okay. At the Parker Group reviewing stand at City Hall. Okay. Okay. That's one of our sponsors. And then at Church of God, okay. we have Norm Short. Norm Short. Okay. And also TV Del Marva will be there. Yep, all right. right there. And we are very thankful for your partnership with that as well, uh, for getting to those people that right. you know can't be there in person. Um, and then also we have at 909 North Walnut Street, formerly known as the Goodens Floral Shop or I the Milford right Florist. Yep. Okay, uh, that is our that is our final reviewing stand. Okay. Lots of space there, and at each one of those stands we have restrooms. Okay, okay? and then good. we also have food vendors. Right. So come out early, so food get parked throughout the parade route. Just at the reviewing stands. Oh, okay. Just, Just at the, at the reviewing the, okay. stands. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. We want them close right. to the restrooms. That's true. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad All to hear right. that you're going to be along the roadway interviewing. Yeah, it's going to be different. That is for wonderful. Me, so, in other words, um, so I'm going to go out and stir it up a little bit. All so, right. and I promise Excellent. not to slow the parade down. Right. So. And you know, and you know, one last thing, Church of God. Yes. Church of God. You know, they are right along the route. So, you know, they had two choices. They could either get involved. <laughs> Or they could close the doors and, and close up. And watch the parade go by. <laughs> and watch the parade go by. And, you know, they opened their arms and oh. said, we want to embrace this. And they've been there with us every year as well. They have so. done good. Yes. Is that Pastor Andy Stevens, I believe it yes, is? Yes, it is. Yep. Yes, it is. He's getting more and more involved in everything. He is. He's doing the fire company now and right? so on. I don't know how long he's been involved, but real good <laughs> guy. So um, they do have good chocolate chip cookies. I believe I have ate their hot dogs and french fries and... Um, Everything and their and their and their drinks are nice and cold. But I'm glad the parade's this Wednesday. It's a very exciting time. What's the theme of the parade? Uh, the theme is the great outdoors. The great so, outdoors. So you, you know it is October. It, it is. is a fall theme. Okay. okay. Um, I, but any season is is open for the great outdoors, That's right? True. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so certainly there's always been talk about uh, is it a Halloween parade? Is it not a Halloween parade? So I want to put it out there. Halloween, non-Halloween. You put costumes on. It's what you call it. Right. And okay. Let's have a good time. So exactly. And have yeah. a good time. So Family we're looking friendly. forward to everyone that's yeah. going to be there. We have uh, roughly 100 entries this year. Do you really? Yes. Very so, good job. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go if that's okay. Well, I've got right. one thing. Okay. Um, I understand it was somebody's birthday, but I didn't realize how young they were. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so... Um. Chick Fil A, okay, would like to give your son a birthday gift. Oh, really? Okay, yes. How it's nice not nuggets. It's not fries. It's definitely not a cookie. Oh, okay, it's not for me. Oh, it's for Jimmy. <laughs> oh yeah, right. let's, let's bring that up. It's for Jimmy, right? Okay. <laughs> well, thank you on behalf of Chick Fil A. I go. love Chick Fil A. All right. Well, absolutely. Thank you They're for such the a opportunity. Company. You know, I, I just want to say every time I go to Chick Fil A, you're either coming or going. 
Right. In other words, he's either getting out of a van from delivering stuff. Right. And then recently at Weller's in Bridgeville, we, we um, you know, had like a luncheon for all of our people. And right. you brought it over. And um, one real interesting thing about Chick-fil-A is they have a phone number, which is 422-8825. Yes. I don't, don't know forget, how they got that. Don't forget, because Delaware, you have to have 302. That's 302-422-8825. Okay. <laughs> Eight eight two five. I don't know how they got the four two two eight eight two five. Right. Because I have four two two eight eight two six. Ah. Which was my mom and dad's number. Hi neighbor. And I've had her. Yeah. <laughs> hi neighbor. And I've had it ever since I was a little kid, and I kept that phone that number. That is awesome. So that is awesome. So we never get any phone calls other than telemarketers, but um, other than that, we have the phone number. All right, Charles. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very and much. We'll Looking see you forward to seeing okay? you Wednesday We'll be there night. eight o'clock. Oh, no, I'm just messing with Okay. You. We'll be there early. All right. Yo, you thought we were going to be there 8 in the morning. We might be there at 8 in the morning. We'll see you then, either way. All right. Yeah, see you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're excited. This Milford Community Parade, everybody, you know, um, Colin does broadcast it on TV Delmarva. Um, you can see it in person. It's a great thing. But if you're going to be in the parade, um, we just want you to know it's going to be broadcast. Tell your family. Tell your friends. It's going to be a good time. All right, you know what else is happening today? This is a big day. Not only is it Apple Scrapple. But there is a auction. There is an auction. Okay, so this is a sponsor segment. Wilson's Auction is, first of all, they have an auction every Saturday on Route 113 in Lincoln, Delaware. Right on the highway, Lincoln, Delaware. Wilson's Auction this Saturday, today, starts at 10 o'clock in Lincoln, Delaware. Okay? Goes all day, all afternoon, and into the evening. There's going to be thousands of things going to be sold. There's multiple auctioneers. It's a good time, okay? So if you're visiting Delaware and you've never been to an auction where there's no sales tax, this is one. But also today, I got just about talked myself into going to this one. It's a house that's going to be sold off-site at 11 o'clock. That's a today-only offer. So if you are an investor, if you are looking for a beautiful home, this thing is a wonderful home. It's a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. Um, and it sits on 2.9 acres of land. It is a beautiful country setting. It's right outside of Harrington, just off of the highway on Hogtown Road. It's right on the corner of it. So anyway, check it out. Go to wilsonsauction.com and look up upcoming auctions and look at that auction. It is today, October 14th at 11 o'clock. There's a 99% chance I'm going to this auction. I like to buy houses, and I like to buy them at auction because you usually get a little bit better deal, okay? So I'm just letting you know this is a beautiful home. It's, it's well-kept. Um, I think a lady lived there. I think she built it and lived there for 20 years. In other words, it is immaculate. So anyway, it is turnkey, ready to go. So check it out. That is today only. You got Wilson's auction on Route 113 in Lincoln starting at 10. And then you've also got the off-site house auction today at 11, at 11. For more information, go to wilsonsauction.com, wilsonsauction.com. And also don't forget, Tuesday nights, there's an auto auction. Any questions, it's 302-422-3454. Dial it in that order, 422-3454. All right, what else is going on? People are here People are eating breakfast. Um, we want to say thank you to Chick-fil-A for bringing a gift for Jimmy. Wasn't that nice? So anyway, you never know what Charles is going to do. But I want to say Chick-fil-A is a sponsor of this show, so we say thank you to Chick-fil-A, all right? So we are going to open up the phone lines real quick, only for a couple minutes, and we're going to give you two Chick-fil-A gift cards for free, all right? So um, you just call the super secret number. This is for a gift card to Chick-fil-A. You're going to get two of them now. I think they're worth about nine bucks a piece. Anyway, you get the number one sandwich meal, which is the sandwich, the waffle fries, and a drink. Or you can have an eight-count nugget meal and the waffle fries and a drink for free. Okay, so you get this gift card from me, um, and I'll give you two of them. You got to pick them up at Weller's in Bridgeville, okay? And again, if you've won something in the past couple weeks, just take a break. Let somebody else have a chance at the phone line, 302 422-7336, 422-7336 for two gift cards to Chick-fil-A. Give me a call now. I'll put your name on the list, all right? It is that, that simple, okay? So I'm putting down two Chick-fil-A, all right? And there is the telephone ringing. It's just that simple. If you want the phone to ring, 
give away something. Caller, are you there? Yeah, Jim. How you doing? Okay. It's you, Snooky. You know what, Snooky? We almost didn't do the show. We didn't see you or Pat here or Leah Betts. And we were like, <laughs> do we do it? Don't we do it? What do we do? So are you okay? Yeah, we got book work to do today. Get the oh bill, Oh, my like. gosh. Book work. Don't you hate that? Yes, I hate it, Jim. Anyway, are you calling to win two Chick-fil-A gift cards? Yes, I need to put some weight on. Okay, well. And Chick-fil-A, a a good place to do it. Yep, and don't forget that Chick-fil-A sauce, too, while you're there, all right? Okay, Jim. Have yourself a good day. Hey, and tell Pat I said hi, too, all right? Okay, Jim. Bye. 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 Okay. Now, if you want two Chick-fil-A gift cards, call me just like that. You don't have to say your name is Snooky. You can have a different name, whatever your name is, okay? So, caller, are you there? Hey, good morning, Jim. How are you? It's Mike from Lewis. Mike from Lewis. How's Mike doing? Mike's doing well. Can't complain. Good. Nice, brisk morning. Yep. Are you calling about the Chick-fil-A? Yes, sir. I would love to have it if it's available still. Have you ever ate at a Chick-fil-A? Oh, my gosh, yes. Aren't they the best? They are. They're amazing. They are. So, and, well, and the service is even better. I agree. Um, so anyway, I just want to let you know that I'll set two gift cards aside at Weller's. Are you listening on the radio or on TV? Uh, we are on the radio, 105.9. 105.9, okay. All right, well then, uh, Mike, you take care, all right? Thank you, Jim. You have a great day. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. I love this new repeat effect that's going on. Anyway, I want to say the phone lines are open, 302 422 7336 422 7336 if you want two gift cards to Chick-fil-A. Now, these cards are expired, okay? So you're going to have to talk them into letting you use them again. They're not expired. I'm just joking. Denise says, "Don't lie like that." I'm sorry. I'm doing better. I corrected myself very quickly, all right? All right. Anyway, caller, are you there? We are here. Who am I talking to? You talking about to Skip Skip, how you doing? I am doing fine. I'm out on my walk. Very nice morning. Well, no good. rain here yet. All right. Well, good. Where are you walking at? Oh, our lane. Oh. All right. <laughs> That's all I can take. Okay, I don't blame you. Hey, <laughs> are you are you a pastor at the Milford Hospital? Yeah, I'm chaplain. Chaplain. All right. Uh -huh. I had somebody tell me they went in the hospital and they met Chaplain Skip who actually was at the diner for the 10-year anniversary. And I'm like, I think I know this guy. Yes. <laughs> well, and I know who you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Well, because of HIPAA laws, let's not say their name, okay? Exactly. But I want to say that you made a very good impression on that lady, okay? Well, good great. job. All well, right. That's, that's good. Well, I'm going to put your name on the list, and uh, you can pick up your gift cards next week at Weller's. All right. Thank you very much. See ya. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey, Connie. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Have fun. Bye. That's Connie and Skip, okay? They're skipping. All right. So it's that easy. If you want a couple gift cards to Chick-fil-A, you give me a call. We put your name on the list. You pick it up at Weller's Utility Trailers in Bridgeville. It's a ploy. People say, why would you give away two gift cards to get you in the store? So that way, you know what we sell, who we are, and where we're at. So the day you wake up and you need what we, what we sell, where we're at, you know who we are, okay? So two gift cards to Chick-fil-A. We could take one more call real quick, 302-422-7336. After that, that offer will be off the table. One more caller, 302-422-7336. Call now. Operators are standing by. The operator's name is Jim gym okay all right what else is going on we got uh levin clark's coming up in a little bit um levin is always a wealth of information he's a, a highly intelligent human being no i'm not sure if he is or not no i'm just messing with him okay all right so anyway so we're going to talk about a big car show coming up with him so lots of things going on i just want to remind you today is apple scrapple it is rain or shine get out there now and support the event all right, Weller's is going to be open. They're probably open by now. So if you need a trailer, a shed, a carport, a canopy, or a floor mat, like for in front of your door at your house, an entrance mat for wiping your feet, they're brand new. 
They're normally $13. We got them for $5, but the real bargain is three of them for $10. Three of them for $10, okay? So you could start your Christmas shopping early at Weller's and buy some floor mats for people, all right? Oh, my goodness. We had a good evening last night celebrating Jimmy's birthday. Today is a busy day. I hear the music. We're taking a break from the radio. And uh, we're going to chat with Colin Walls to so switch over to TV Del Marva right now, right now, right now. All right. So, Colin, uh, we're going to take another picture. Let me move that so it doesn't show up. All right. Are you ready, young lady? Thank you. Colin, it's going right. pretty good. It is, it is. Except oh, for the. Uh, it's interesting. Except for the console muting itself over there. Is that what it is? Something okay. with a touchscreen, yeah. Okay, all right. Yep, a touchscreen is acting funny. Wow, maybe it froze. I maybe. think it's opposite of froze. It's doing oh. extra stuff. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. What do you want to chit chat about? Well, it doesn't matter to me. Let's talk about the radio station. All right, we'll talk minute. about the radio station. Well, let's so. talk about the TV station first, okay? Let's talk about the TV station. TV Del Marva is a local TV station, and right? it's been around a couple years now, yeah. over two years probably. Oh, it's since uh, March of 2020, so yeah. we survived COVID. COVID hit, and we decided to start a TV station. At the same time, because everybody same was time. at home watching TV. Oh, man, that was rough. That was it a rough was. Couple exactly. years with it, so yeah. So it's been over three years, going uh, you know about to go into our fourth year in March. Okay. So yeah. So it's a local TV station. That's so right. Colin Walls had this idea and he made it happen. I was amazed to just stand on the sidelines and watch this happen. Well, and and now we have seven channels over the yes. years. So seven channels. Uh, channel fourteen point one is TV Del Marva. That's kind of our. Uh, flagship station you right. know it's got lots of good programming on it but that's where all the local shows are right. is on channel 14.1 tv del mar 14.2 is uh news net so it's a 24-hour news channel uh news and weather and uh 14.3 is retro tv retro tv so it's you know kind of a, a classic television show so that was pretty good that was pretty good and, 14.4 <laughs> is our locally programmed weather channel. So Hunter Alton is on there every day, uh, giving you the local forecast, and it's got current conditions. Everything there is sourced locally kind of fresh, from us. Up to date. We do it's like fresh produce. We do everything on that channel. So we yes. have our own servers that pull in all the data and turns it into the images you see on the screen there. So yep. uh, it's kind of neat how that's all done and how it's I'm set impressed. up. Should... I'm impressed, Colin. Uh, not Colin. What's his name over there, Hunter? Hunter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he does a good job. Looking at Colin and pointing at Hunter. So anyway, um, he does a good job. It's just, yep. for me, it's just watching you guys put all this together. Right. Such a blessing to the community. Yep. Hey, 14.5, One America News. So That's right. Yep. OAN Plus. So uh, if you are a fan of OAN and conservative news, that is a conservative news outlet. Okay. Uh, and they have lots of uh, news and talk show programs on there. So they've got live news every day on there. Um, and then 14.6 is biz TV. So everything business, uh, talking about business and, and that. And uh, pretty soon, hopefully, we're going to be doing weather for them on the national level. Really? Yeah. So everywhere across the country, we'll see Hunter on there doing the weather. Hunter needs clothing with writing. Yeah. That's the ticket. Yep. So anyway. So the... Um, uh, that's going to be seen by like over, that's what i'm saying it covers a population of 76 million it's in every almost every major market it's in la it's in dallas texas it's in boston it's in miami so it is in you know the major markets across the country he needs to reach out to amazon <laughs> um so uh and then it comes to 14.7 which is heartland network so okay. that is a country music lifestyle country lifestyle channel so uh, lots of country music type stuff on there you remember the old crook and chase shows yeah. and a lot of the nashville network shows they're on there so uh really good stuff and they've got new programming too mm -hmm. um but you know it does play some of the classic nashville network uh shows on there so very very good so if you have an antenna you're going to point your antenna towards seaford rescan look for channel 14. Uh, if you don't have an antenna and you have a roku tv or a roku device you can search for tv del marva on there um, or you can go on your browser, on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer, even your browser on your TV. So if you have a smart TV, you can go to tvdelmarva.com okay. on your browser 
and uh, look for TV Del Marva, the oh, channel fourteen point one through seven. There, so yeah. lots of options. Over Many the years, options. not the is not the end. There's not lots the end. of options. That is the I Beginning. like it the best. Right. Just because you know there's a lot of money put into the tower and right. the antenna and the transmitter and all that to get the signal over there. So uh, that's the way I like people to watch. But I know it's not everybody doesn't have an antenna. Right. right. So. But anyway, All right. Yeah. Speaking of antenna. Yes. Let's talk about the radio station. Okay. So where is the antenna? The antenna it's for that Wildwood. is in Wildwood, New Jersey. Yeah. Wildwood, New Jersey. But the signal does reach over here to Delaware. Yes, it reaches does. Reaches way up into New Jersey mm -hmm. and coastal Delaware here in, in inland a bit mm -hmm. in Delaware. So, um, but if you have the app, you can get it anywhere at yes. any time. Yep. So you're going to uh, go to your app store, whether it's Apple or whether it's uh, Android, whatever, Fine Day Radio is what you're looking -E. for. F-I-N-E. Day fine. Radio, fine right. Day Radio. And uh, you can download it there. You can also go to FineDayRadio.com, and you can download it there as well. So if you scroll down to the bottom, there's two buttons there. One's an Android. There's three buttons. One's an Android. One is uh, Apple, and the other is Amazon. So you can get us on Amazon Alexa. Just say, Alexa, play Fine Day Radio. Okay. Thank right. you, Colin. All right, we're back on the radio, and um, I want to do this. Um, we're going to talk to Levin Clark next. I want to tell you something that's going on. The Bridgeville Fire Company, the Bridgeville Volunteer Fire Company, is having their annual fall dinner. It's going to be curbside, okay? Just drive in, and they will serve you. It's Sunday, November 5th, so it's coming up. Sunday, November 5th from noon to 4, and um, here's what you get. You get chicken and dumplings, veggies, coleslaw, roll, butter and dessert it's a pre-sale only so you've got a pre-sale you've got to order it ahead of time okay so anyway to place your orders just give a call you've got a call by october 29th 302-448-0149 that's 302-448-0149 give a call it's only 15 dollars a meal and um you just simply place your order and then pick it up on sunday november fifth okay so any questions give a call to 302-448-0149 now here is levin clark uh we're going to chit chat about things all right so uh talk right into that mic if you would and uh, introduce your guest but first i guess we're going to take a picture here real quick you know okay. damn i'm warning i wish you'd take that picture well we've got to for our legal team oh just okay. to prove you were here and you look <laughs> like you gave consent so you can't go home and say they did that against my will. Uh, okay, and yep. um, who is this young lady with you? This young lady here is in charge of the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition. Well, I appreciate you need her anything coming. done. This lady will get it done. All right, and what is her name? Connie. Holdridge. Yeah, there we go. Holdridge. Holdridge, not Holdridge. Holdridge. Yep. Connie, how you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having us. Yep. Thanks for coming. It's wonderful. This well, is a, a fun time in the morning, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yes. Yep. Yep. We have a lot of, you can see, we move through them and it's uh, quite interesting. So it is just, interesting. you're on TV, Facebook, YouTube, and two radio stations. Just oh so no, you know. I gotta go do my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I've been all morning doing mine. But anyway, um, so we got a car show coming up. We do. We do on October 21st, Le so Levin's car show. Is next the Saturday. Eighth. It is Saturday. Not this Saturday, but next uh, Saturday. Next Saturday. Yep. It is the eighth annual car show. We had to stop during COVID, mm -hmm. um, but we're back in full yep. force. And uh, Levin puts on a fabulous car show. Lots of cars. And there are lots of cars, like 300. Okay. Last time, um, and it all benefits the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition. Okay. So I'm the survivorship director of the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition, and what we do is reach out to newly diagnosed patients. Uh, breast cancer patients to give them one-on-one -on -one, uh, somebody to talk to somebody right. that's been there that knows what it's like I had breast cancer when I was 45 okay. so I know how badly it feels right. in your brain and so we can talk to people and we right. want to get everybody um, screened every right. woman who is 40 years old and over in the state of Delaware can get screened at little or no out-of-pocket cost wow. And that's okay. part of our uh, business is to get people screened. How that would somebody find out about that? It's all on our website, okay. debreastcancer.org. Okay. Uh, there is an 800 number on there as well, and okay. I don't have that memorized. But we have a whole team that can help somebody get a mammogram, whether 
whatever their barriers are to getting the mammogram, uh, money, so we can get it paid for, transportation, uh, language barriers. We have t uh, people on staff that speak fluent Spanish and oh, people on staff okay. that speak fluent Haitian Creole. So okay. this is a big barrier for people, Right, uh, would be for me. And so we're trying to break down those barriers and get these people screened. I was, as I said, I was 45 when I was diagnosed. If I hadn't been screened, I didn't know it was there, right. I don't know that I'd be here right now. So right. getting screened is really right. important. Right, get ahead of it as best you can. Yes, yep. and it's much better, uh, it's easier to go through the treatments if it's earlier. Yes. You don't have as yes. much extensive treatments to do. Right. Uh, so we have over a thousand <laughs> breast cancer survivors in Sussex County that are on our rolls. Okay. So there's more than that, obviously, but the, those that we have touched is over a thousand people. Wow. So there's millions of me out there right. that are surviving. Excellent. So this event is a fundraiser it to is. help make money to underwrite the cost of doing things to help people. That's right, because we are a nonprofit just in the state of Delaware. We're not connected with any other nonprofits, and we have to uh, find ways to, to bring in the money. And so right. Levin steps in, he said, I want to help. And he brings in a lot of money. So this is next Saturday. I see face painting. Um, there's a swap meet, a craft fair. Are there any vendor spots left? Yes, okay, we have so, got spots for vendors. Yes. So if somebody's out there and they're listening and they say, you know, it's I, I want to vend. I want to try to make some money myself. They can buy a vendor spot. That's correct. They, yes. Okay. To sign up for the car show, what do they do? Just show up that morning. And sign up. Yeah, sign up that morning. Yes. Okay. How early can people show up next Saturday? Well, I'll be there around five o'clock. So if you want to roll in there at five minutes after five, we're cool with it. Okay. All right. So, uh, so it's next Saturday now. Like after sign up, and when's the music start, and when's the event start? So, what time should just the average person show up? Uh, the music starts at nine. The car show starts at nine. Okay. Everything so be there. Kicks at nine. off at nine till three o'clock. And there's gonna be food. Gonna be food. Okay. Uh, free fresh air. Free fresh air. Okay. Free, free parking. heat. Free, free parking. air condition. Okay. Whatever you like. All right. Free parking. Free parking. Okay. And is there any charge to get into the event? Uh, for spectators, no. Okay. But if you like, leave a donation. We'll have a thing out there for donations. But the cars, motorcycle, tractors, there's a fifteen dollar charge to be in the car show. To be in the car show. Right. Yes. All right. So. What else is going on? Is there an auction at any point? Yes, there is. Okay. There's a live what? auction. We'll be starting at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, okay. Mr. Dave Wilson, I know everybody in Sussex County and Kent County knows who that is. Yep. We got a couple good tags. Definitely will be Where'd sold. I see them. Yeah. Now, they're going to be sold no matter what? No matter what. They All bring right, a so dollar or $100,000. Okay. So one of them is C-1205. 1205. So if you want to bargain on a tag or you want to overpay on a tag, either way, We'll see what that thing brings, because whether it brings a thousand or ten thousand, it's going to sell. It's going to be sold. Okay. Yes. All right. Is there another tag number that you know of? There's another tag. It's SR six fifty five. All right. And Street Mr. Rod. Street Ride is what it is. Okay. And Dave said he's never sold one that he can remember. All right. We'll see and what he's happens. been doing some research. He said it should do at least fifteen hundred bucks. But listen, if you don't let that turn you off. So come to the auction no matter what, okay? And see what it brings because you might buy a bargain and it might bring 1500 It might bring 500 You never know. <laughs> it might bring 5000 Right. It's an auction. So I don't want to scare sure. anybody away. Nope. I want them all to come no matter what because you just never know what's going to happen, all right? Okay, yeah. anything else we need to mention? Uh, uh, I would like to thank Mr. Jim Weller for okay. having us here to do this, Jim. I appreciate everything you've done and what you have. Okay promoted this for us yep i really appreciate it well good mm -hmm. well i appreciate you doing it yeah. and um it's for a good cause people can flat out just write a check and make a donation too is that right yes yeah. and it is right. tax the duck double check with your accountant on that we're not giving tax advice but it should be it should be we All will right. take credit cards too if somebody you wants do? to come out and take oh, uh give us a donation yeah. on a credit okay. card okay we're also having a touch a truck Oh, that'll with, be fun. Uh, lots of big equipment, which is 
li- loads of fun for the right. kids so and for the the, kids, all the men. <laughs> bring the grandkids, bring the kids, bring everybody. You know, it's that's a family-friendly thing. thing. It yeah. is a family-friendly thing. And it's yep. there all day, so you've got plenty of time to come in and out yeah. and uh, enjoy it. There's also a cornhole tournament going all on. All right. So don't miss it. Next Saturday, mark your calendar, set a reminder in your phone, and be there. Okay? Please. Anything else? Switch yep. papers with me. I want one of them papers. All right. Okay. It's got that other tag on there. Yep. All right. I'm going to let you both go. Is that okay? Thank All you right. so much for having us in yep. here. Thanks a Thank lot. Thank you, Jim. All right. Yep. See you all. Take care. Yep. Bye. All right. Next Saturday, mark your calendar. Mark your ca- Oh, where is it? I forgot that question. Where is this thing at? It's at the Marvel Museum in Georgetown. Good enough. I forgot to ask. Okay. Oh, Marvel man. Museum in Georgetown. All right. We all yep. know where that's at. Yep. All right. See y'all. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Let's brag on another good sponsor of the show, which is Jerry Santoro, Jerry's Lawn Care. Okay. Just call Jerry. So if you need some firewood, give him a call. If you um, have any kind of landscaping or yard work done, uh, just give Jerry a call. If you got a tree that you need cut down or trimmed up or whatever, just give Jerry a call, okay? He also sells mulch. He can uh, winterize your irrigation system. He s- installs pavers. whole lot of things that Jerry does. So give Jerry Santora a call if you need something done, if you need firewood, if you have any tree work, any stumps that need grinding up or digging up, whatever you need, give Jerry a call. So what is Jerry's number? It's 302-363-6025. That's 363-6025. It's jlc-llc.com. Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care. Like him on the Facebook page if you would. Now, Billy Johnson is here. He is here to talk about, oh, it's picture time again. Yes, indeed. Tracy is doing a great job. Linda is not here today. She took the day off. I think she went to the Bahamas. I'm not sure what she's doing. So anyway, Billy Johnson, what is going on with you, young man? Well, good morning, Jim. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. I'm here on behalf of the Greenwood Mennonite School, Greenwood, Delaware. We have our fall auction coming up. November First 4th. Saturday of every November. This is How November cool. 4th this year. How cool, yep. Yeah. Here we are again. I think this is my 23rd or 24th really? go-round here. So. Wow. Woo! Yep. It's going to be a <laughs> Keep it woo going. day. <laughs> it's going to be a woo day. We're going to make some money. We're going to raise some money. We're going to have fun doing it. So starts with a breakfast, doesn't it? Yep. All you can eat uh-huh. breakfast kicks off at 7 o'clock. It goes okay. 7 to 9. We right. move right into our silent auction. Silent auction and the live auction going at 9 o'clock okay. uh, until... All items are sold, obviously. They'll cut right. the silent auction off usually about an hour and a half to two hours in. And I think Mr. Dave Wilson's joining us that day, as yes, well as Mr. Is. Jim Weller. I mean, you yes. might be familiar with that gentleman. Me and Dave are going to work the crowd That's over. That's right. That's right. <laughs> my understanding, Jim, my great privilege, I get to fill in for you for about 30 minutes that morning, if I'm not mistaken. Right. At Unless least I that's come to up. my attention, yep, right? you can. <laughs> I'm easy to fill in for. Right, 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 you don't right, have right. to pronounce names correctly. <laughs> I mean, it's, there's no standard for me. But anyway, um, I appreciate all you do for the Greenwood well, Mennonite School. And this is their big fundraiser. I mean, yep. this helps underwrite the cost or improvements or uh, something they might need to buy or, you know, um, salaries and so on. It's, it's something they depend on, and we need the community to come to this come out and support and the community is amazing in this regard because every year it's always a successful event at least from from behind the scenes it, it's pretty successful and it's, fun. and it's fun and people look forward to it you know we have the spring festival and we have the fall auction right. and those two um are, are being like you depend on bookends for yeah. the school and the, and the budget so we appreciate the community come out and supporting us and then everything that you do jim to support the school as well and have us on the show here and um, we do appreciate it very much. So, well, um, I will fun. just say, you know, there's um, there's a few items that they just asked me to mention this morning, okay. if I could. Uh, just yep. some auction items that are already uh, set in stone. We have okay. deer blinds. We have a bouncy house rental. Uh, we What's do, a deer blind? That I do not know. I don't know okay. what it looks like. I but I think it's I, like I, a I, thing that goes up a tree. Or? Yep. Yep. Okay. Just checking. Um, I, I know we have. So I work with Southern States, and I know we have a different a different okay. thing that we call the deer blind, but that's more of a free stand, and <laughs> okay. that's not what's going to be there this year. All right, so we got a deer blind. Yep. Deer blind, bouncy house rental. We have tickets to Sight and Sound. 
Uh, we have a crabbing trip uh, set up. We have, obviously, we have quilts uh, from our some mm -hmm. of our local quilt guilds. Uh, we have a beach house rental. Usually that's two or three of those, but I, yeah. I can't give you much more detail at this point. And then we have a seafood dinner uh, for eight. Really? Um, so that's that's what's there available right now that we know right. for Plus certain. Plus all kinds of stuff. There will be a lot of things, over there 100 will, oh, yeah. things. Yeah, in yeah. Other usually, words. usually it's 100 to 120 items just depending on uh, the mm -hmm. year. In between and around that, if you have children, we do have kids' crafts, and we are planning on showing some movies this year. So, of course, kid-friendly, so if you need to keep the kids occupied, okay. uh, we are having kids' crafts in the movie. And then also, every year, my wife's usually in charge of this, we have our bake sale. Yep. So if anyone would like to contribute some baked goods, feel free to reach out to the school and say, I'd like to contribute baked goods the day of uh, the fall auction. There's always call good the baked school. goods, too. Yeah. Um, so... Can send, you still send donate a, auction items? Like if yes. you had something, okay. Yeah, if you had new something. Items new items. New items, of course. Um, just give the school a call. The school is 302-349-4131. Taylor Tweedell will be the, uh, the person to answer the phone okay. at this time. Taylor's our new uh, assistant in the office, okay. and she okay. would be more than happy to direct the call appropriately to the, to the right persons. There's several folks that are in charge of the auction, the committee, so she'll direct that accordingly. So um, let's three zero two three four nine four one three one. Yes. Of what we want somebody to donate. Okay, so you could donate. Um, actually, you know something? I'm going to donate. Go ahead, Jim. What are you donating? I'm going to donate a month of advertising on my electronic Fine. billboard. Okay. Okay. Yep, on the electronic billboard. Okay. A month of advertising to yep. the electronic billboard. Yep. So that would be like thirty days. You get okay. both sides. Um, it's worth about fifteen hundred dollars. Then there's a, a radio station that I think is also going to donate some things. So uh, I got to confirm that. But a so, radio station, fine day maybe. Perhaps? I'm not sure, <laughs> but anyway, um, a radio station might be donating, okay. and maybe more than one radio station. So anyway, I'm just letting you know I'm working on some stuff too. But if you're out there and you own a business, you do not have to be Mennonite to donate to this. You do not have to be connected to the school to donate to this. That is correct. I'm telling you, I've had kids go there, my grandkids, a lot of people in the community, their kids go there. And the school just does a lot of good things in general for our community. So if you are listening or if you are watching and you are a business or if you're an individual and you just want to stroke a check for 50 bucks or for 500 bucks or $5,000 and help the school, you can. Yeah. Because um, sometimes they'll take a donation and then go buy things That's to auction off. That's correct. So um, any way you can help, please call the school. What was it? 349-4131. Dial it in that order. Works yes. best, right? <laughs> That's, yeah, that works All right. best. Greenwood Mennonite School, they're on Facebook. There's always pictures popping up of stuff yes. that's been yep. donated. Yep. Follow us on Facebook. Yep. Always, they're always keeping track of that. Always keep that updated. Again, that's okay. November the 4th. It's the first Saturday in November every yeah, year. You can it. mark your calendar on it year after year after year. Because it's the first Saturday in November and the first Saturday in June. That is correct. Clockwork. Yep. I've got Clockwork. it. So Dave <laughs> Wilson is the auctioneer. I'm going to be helping out, describing items and so on. You can work the crowd till I get there. And, gotcha, um, Jim. Starts with a breakfast at 7. And that's all you can eat. Um, and what else do I need to know? Anything I else? I think you got it covered. I want I people to it. donate some stuff. I want donate some stuff. Overwhelm us. Again, call the school, 302-349-4131, and Taylor will be happy to direct the call. Okay. But um, I do want you to bid on that one month of the electronic billboard. That's going to be good. Somebody could put happy birthday, Merry Christmas, Jesus saves, whatever you want to put. You know, so in other words, you could put a message. Up, well, within reason, whatever you want to put within reason. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. So yeah. I'm donating yeah, a month, preface. a month's preface use. There. Yep. All right, Billy, anything else? No, Jim, I appreciate it, sir, very much. Thank you All so right. much. You do a good job. Thank, Thank you. you. And I'm going to leave right. you with this. And okay. Some of those items. All right. No problem. Hope All right. You, hope see you can ya. read that. Okay. I can. Okay. I'm not that old. No, I'm just kidding with you. I got good glasses is what I'm saying. All right, so anyway, what else is going on? What else is going on? We're sitting here inside the Milford Diner. There's been a good crowd this morning. They've came, they've went, they've came, they've went. Terry, do you want to have a word real quick? Terry is here. He came all the way from Seaford, Delaware. This is Terry. Did you need that flyer? Okay. Terry has come all the way from Seaford, Delaware. There's one, there's two, that one. All right. And Terry, just say good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is Terry from Seaver. I come down to see Jim, and he's a good friend to me, him and Dan Gatman, all of them. Yep. Hey, are you up for a picture? Yeah. Smile pretty right over here. 
All right. So, Terry, uh, you listen to Dan Gaffney quite a bit. Yes. And you call in yes. every now and then? Yes. And uh, what do you like about Dan? Uh, well, he's very good. He's on, he do the Monday morning roll call, and I call 530, and then he said, hey, you're listening. Please call and let me know you're listening. And then, after, that's, then he, everybody calls this every day. You've known Dan a long time. Yes. I've been knowing right. Dan since back in the 80s. Really? Yep. All right. And you're retired now. Yep. What would you do for a living? Uh, nothing but just retire. Come see Jim Waller and, okay. uh, and go to the Far Heights on Wednesday night and meetings and stuff. You got a girlfriend? No. no. I just got friends. Friends. You <laughs> yes. got lots of friends, don't you? Right. Well, good. And you go to Vanderwind's Ice Cream now and then? Yes. You ever been to Chick-fil-A? Yes. Okay, well, good. You want me to give you a gift card to Chick-fil-A and yeah. Vanderwind's? All yeah. right. Well, there you go. There's Chick-fil-A, and here's Vanderwind's, and I'm going to give you one of these. Just don't say this name on the radio. Don't say it, okay? Oh, yeah, but you could take that home and put it on your refrigerator. Well, thank you, Jim. I thank for okay. you. The, the, I, come, the, I try and get here every Saturday as much as I can, but okay. a lot of times on Saturday I do something else, but... Uh, it's it's good that you have this every Saturday morning, Saturday morning from seven to nine. Yep, and you, watch, Downing, on, you watch on TV now and then, don't you? Yes, uh huh. Okay, all right. Take care. See you, Terry. Thanks a lot. All right, bye bye. There he goes, Terry from Seaford. That's the best I can describe him, Terry from Seaford. Hey, let's talk about my accountant real quick, George Luff, Luff and Associates, his son Tyler, and the whole team there at Luff and Associates. They are a sponsor. This is a sponsor segment. Okay, and we appreciate them. They do all my accounting, my bookkeeping. They help with payroll. Um, and I've been dealing with them for years, 25, 30, maybe even over 30 years. I'm not sure. So anyway, if you are out there and you have been doing your own book work and your own accounting for your business and you say, look, I got other things to do with my time. I don't want to keep up with this. You can give them a call. They're always looking for new clients, okay? If you own a business and you have payroll and you're dealing with a payroll company or you've been doing it yourself and you're just tired of it and you want to deal with somebody local, uh, you give them a call. They have a system called Easy Payroll. So I've dealt with Luffs a long time, been very happy, personal business, you know, all my properties, everything, and they've done a good job for me. So it's Luff and Associates, LuffCPAs.com, LuffCPAs.com. And they have three offices. They have one in Rehoboth, one in Dover, one in Milford. So I'm going to give you one phone number. You give them a call. They're friendly. They're knowledgeable. They're very uh, quick to respond. And I like dealing with them. So it's Luff & Associates at 302-422-9699. That's 422-9699. LuffCPAs.com on the web. Okay? All right. So. What else is going on? What else is going on? Um, I want to talk about dry zone real quick. Um, I, uh, I like dry zone a lot. In other words, a lot of people say, boy, you really, really brag on your, your advertisers, your sponsors. I do, folks. I really do. And I'll tell you why. Because they're people that I um, deal with. Um, they're people that I deal with. They're people that have done a good job for me. And I want to align you with them. So, uh, Dry zone. What do they do? They're very well known for crawl space encapsulation. And in today's world, you can hire anybody and everybody to do crawl space encapsulation. But I want to say this. There's only one, and I mean only one, dry zone. They do it a certain way. They know what they're doing. They use quality parts. They have really good people. And they have systems that work. They're tried. They're true. They know what they're doing, okay? They offer financing if need be. And they have uh, warranties that are transferable. And you say, what's that mean? That means, you know, everybody has uh, a lot of people that never intended on selling their home have sold their home over the past few years because prices have been up. Well, Dry Zone, if they do work for you, they have a warranty that you can transfer to the next homeowner. So they do crawl space encapsulation. They do structural things. They can help you with cracking concrete or settling concrete. They have a thing called poly level that they can level up concrete. And they're just really good at what they do. They also, also have a division called Hello Garage that can come into your garage and uh, recoat your floor. They have different cabinet packages, shelving, different things they can do. They have a wall material for your garage or for your basement if you want to do some remodeling that will stand up to high humidity. So they have lots of solutions. If you have a problem, they have a solution. Estimates are free. Evaluations are free. So you give a call. It's 302 684 5034. Now dial it in that order. It's 302 684 5034. Dryzone.com. 
Like their Facebook pages for Hello Garage and Dry Zone, okay? Check them out. Tell them Jim Weller sent ya. All right, I hear the music. We're taking a break from the radio. Colin Walls is going to join me, so switch over to TV Delmarva or Weller Does Delmarva on the Facebook. I don't want you to miss anything, anything, anything. All right, we have a news flash here, Colin. Oh, really? Yep, so you can read that. All right. um, I get these messages during the oh, show. Okay. So, well, a gentleman got that working. Yes, so it was working yesterday, too. Know, it just wasn't working on his end. On his end, but right. um, I think he got it figured out. And All right, excellent, him. excellent, excellent. So, oh, I also got a compliment from him. He said the callers sound great. They did? Yeah. So, I, so. I, I rounded up a good group of callers. Yeah, <laughs> but he, he wanted to know if there was anything we changed, and we did. But it was it was probably six months ago okay. when we got that new device. It was when we were down to Dewey. Oh, really? Remember okay. that? We got that new device there. But it's not every caller that right. does it. It's it's uh, right. just some of them, depending on their phone. If it's like an HD call. Oh, oh, oh. I think it's yes. Verizon yes. to Verizon yep. is what it is. Yep. If it's a Verizon call, then it is a really good clear call so uh but we do have a lot of good equipment mid-south audio has that's sold right. us almost everything we're willing to buy yep and we appreciate them and some things we weren't willing to buy we he sold to us to anyway right so um <laughs> he he's he's hooked us up with good no. quality equipment yeah so. and i mean and that's the, the good thing about dealing with mid-south audio is they know what you need and yes. they don't know what you need just because they've got a book in front of them that right. says here yeah, sell them this they know from experience because yes. they <clears throat> they install this stuff and they use it. Yes. So yeah. So they know what is good and what is not good. So heed their advice heed if, their if advice. they're giving advice. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, oh, so Fine Day Radio. Fine We've Day had a Radio. thought. Jim McHugh and I were talking. Okay. And we said, what if we got listeners okay. to call in, or if when we're out here, to just say, have a fine day. So this is oh. so and so from you know wherever. Have a fine day, and we drop those in at different spots uh, That's a during cool the day. Idea, yes. So maybe we'll have a day where people could call in or even come in here on the mic, and we'll and record them saying, you know, hi, this is Jim from Bridgeville, and have a fine day. That would be cool. That would be cool. Right. All right. Yeah. Well, so we have all these good local that. voices. So yeah. Yeah. Maybe in the next week or two or something like that, we could we could set that up. Okay. So. All right. Well, Stay I'm tuned up for, for that. that. So, and yeah. we want to say, as far as have a fine day radio, fine day radio, yeah. we appreciate your support. We had a lot of people sign up. If you did not get your commercial done, please do so. You're just Quickly. losing. You're losing time. We're billing yeah. you anyway. So please, if you you're would, losing momentum, you're losing momentum, or not even words, starting. You know, it. right? Yeah. So I just want to let you know that if you are out there and you're listening, please get your ad done if you would, yep. and. If you're out there and you're listening and you want to be part of our radio station, there's plenty of opportunities. So if you want to talk about advertising mm -hmm. or underwriting a program or sponsoring a studio or anything. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah, I mean, um, if, if there's a station that, or a station, a show that you hear on Fine Day Radio and you say, man, I really like that show. Well, you right. could sponsor that show, Just you know, and be show. an exclusive yep. sponsor of that show. Yep. And, you know, we'll... we'll give you the naming rights to it you know so right. this is we the, are open-minded yes yeah. what we are not a large we're a small corporation there's two stockholders here and you're saying, right. you're, you're listening to both of them so anyway. <laughs> all yep. right all right so anyway um i just want to say if you have any questions about fine day radio call me 302-542-9157 it's that mm -hmm. simple 302 542 9157. We'd love to help you. We'd love to support you. And we'd love to make you known. You'll take Success a test. Success will be up to you. We're going to make you known. What you do with that is up to you. All right. You'll that? take a text at that phone number, I'll too. I'll take a text. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. No problem. Jim, at yeah. Jim Weller at FindayRadio.com, too. Oh, yeah. Yep. Jim I got to forward that for you, too. Yes, please. I will forward Two things that. to do today. Two things to do today. All yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Two All things day. more to do today. More you mean. today. Yeah. Yes. I got to go to Seaford. You gotta go to the tower there for the TV. Really? Yeah, the computer, the PC. Man, there if you're is climbing down. that tower again today, and I know it's only 500 feet, but listen, <laughs> be careful. The rungs could be wet. The they could be slippery. Get, yeah, right. yeah. And I may be going to New Jersey today to you're to go to the me. tower there. Maybe. Really? Yeah. Okay. But I'm not sure. All right. I'm not sure about that one. I do need to go in the next few days. So. Okay. All right. Yeah. Anything else I need to know? That's it. That's it. I don't even know. You're gonna go look at that about. house today. 
Um, I think I am. That was my great great aunt's house. Is that right? Yeah. Dave Wilson tells yep. me it is meticulous. Oh, it is. I went in there. I got furniture from there. Um, oh, really? So yeah, that's where the ago. furniture went. Yeah, that's where okay. the furniture went. So, okay. but she had yeah lots of nice antiques and stuff. So, my mom and all of us went there, and you know we got to pick some things out that we oh, wanted really? that were hers. Yeah. So yep. Where was that so. invitation? I had it. I oh. had it the whole time. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. I missed it. <laughs> no, but it is a beautiful house. Okay. Uh, so this was my grandmother's aunt. Really? She was 90-some years old, yep. And they were they were very close in age. Okay. Even though it was her aunt, they were very close in age. And, uh, yeah, so. Wow. Yeah, they were. Well, it's going to be sold today at 11 o'clock. So you're yeah, saying. Yeah, it is a beautiful is, house. If right. you've ever been down Williamsville Road, you have absolutely noticed that house there yep. on the corner of Hogtown. So you're it's not saying there's anything out. wrong with it or anything like that? No, this I didn't do an a... inspection, but right. I can tell you that, right. that house. she was living is, in it. Yeah, that house is immaculate and beautiful, very well built. Uh, and just nice, very well maintained. Gosh, now you're going to make me want to go buy it. <laughs> I'm just going to make it a rental, though, is the only thing. Yeah, I, guess I don't, it could be I don't know that that's home. a rental house. Though. I could be there. We that's could a go lot there. of house for a rental. Me and Denise could live there during fair week. Oh, there you go, yeah. Right. Yeah. Denise likes to go to the fair every day. Yeah. It would make yeah, the ride had, shorter. Marie and I had initially thought about, really? about it, but you know, when, you know, when we were there getting the furniture, but it's in Kent County. Okay. And we have work. to live in Sussex County. Right. Okay. Yep. All right. I understand. By why, law. So. By law. Yeah. yeah. By the yeah, Delaware by law, Constitution. Yeah. 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 I asked Brian Pettyjohn if he could change that for me. Oh, okay. And no. he said, probably not. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, all, all right. right. We're back on the radio. Right. I'll see you. All right. See you. All right, everybody. We are in the last half hour. Terry is here. Um, we are going to compliment her on her wonderful air conditioning system. Is it too cold? I'm not saying nothing. I'm on blood thinners. That's why I don't say nothing. I don't know if it's cold or not. I'm always cold. All right, this is Terry. We're going to take a picture first. When you get a chance, take a picture of that. Uh, she already okay, did. Okay, no problem. Now, explain this to us, if you would. What's going on behind us? It's a boy. What is this about? Stand up, Jim. Why? Are you having a boy? No. No. <laughs> this is my spare tire. What are you talking about? No, we're going to be celebrating the arrival of my fourth grandchild i thought it was for my son's birthday uh, <laughs> that was all right. i thought everybody was gonna think jim was having a boy no <laughs> no i got a good boy and in fact my son's birthday is today it's amazing is it really right oh wow and so you put that up i was thinking that's what it was like when denise and i had jimmy it's a boy how old is so, he so he's 35. oh wow okay yep, yep. well congratulations yep. on yours thank well, you congratulations yes, is this baby your first grandson my first grandson but Brian they uh, he just had one yeah they, yes. they just had a boy too so wow. yes this is my first boy wow okay yes Jackson Jackson okay Jackson is his name all right what have you brought out here today this looks isn't that something <laughs> it's something man Brian's back there dreaming up all this delicious stuff tell me about this well we figured um we'd show you our hot roast beef with cheddar oh, and man, curly fries today and did he make them fries? Yes. No kidding. Yes. No more frozen. We My don't do goodness. any frozen potatoes. No, no, no frozen fries. Yeah. No frozen curly fries. No frozen. Brian deserves an award. Oh, they are. Are All they? Right. He's telling right. me they are frozen. Well, they don't look frozen to me. <laughs> but anyway, they're curly fries. They are curly fries. And yes. They look pretty yes. Darn well, the, good. let's let's. Straighten that up. The okay. curly fries still are frozen, okay. but I can almost guarantee you at some point they're not going to be frozen. Right. And right now they're not frozen. So <laughs> in other words, every time I go out to eat, I say to people, "Is the does the burger frozen?" And, and Colin always corrects me and says it didn't start out frozen. In other words, so anyway. <laughs> right. All right. Right. So we got curly fries, no problem. I like that sandwich. Is that the normal amount of meat he would put? Yes. Yeah, that we don't we like don't fluff bit, it we don't fluff it up for the no, show. No, I agree. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, so that's not for picture purposes. I mean, that's that's the real amount of meat. That's the real. Yep. Okay. That's the real amount of meat. All right, and a nice yeah. roll with cheese, and then yeah. what is the white stuff? Dipping the, sauce. The or? horseradish. Really? Yeah. Oh, so that's for the sandwich. Yes. All right. Not yeah, because some people don't you know might not want to put a lot on there, so I don't know how much you want. You can if you need yeah. more, okay. like me, I always okay. put a lot on there. Okay. Yeah. Wow, well, very good, very good. Yeah, it's Brian a, it's a horseradish a sauce on the there. side, yeah. Brian is a gentleman that you don't see much here. You don't see him, but no, but you could. He's like the air. You could not do without him. 
Oh, I mean, no. he has got everything. He wears many hats around yes, here. Yes, he does. does. A good job. Yes, so, uh, he does. I appreciate him. I appreciate you both. In other words, I mean, we appreciate people, you, Jim. A lot of people do not realize how hard the people that own the Milford Diner work. And then you've got what a wonderful team of people. They've been here for years. They love working with you. They love working for you, and uh, they love giving great customer service. It's a it's a total package here. That's you know, right. It's a, it's a total package, and uh, you just want to grow and keep growing, but you want to get more help as time as the right help comes along. Yes. You know, in other words, I think everybody's tired of hiring people that don't work out. You yeah, know, you it's unfortunate, and yep. it happens, yep. but you just have to keep going. Sifting through them. You just have to keep going. And have you ever been to Frontier Town? Is that in Pennsylvania? No, it's down in around Salisbury. Oh, no. Uh, it's a little western town, and they have this thing where you mine for gold. And so you, you're sifting sand real for gold. little, oh, yeah, for little teeny nuggets of gold. <laughs> it might not be real gold. It's a kid's thing. Oh, it's But, man, I, I feel like hiring good employees is like sifting for, for gold. gold. This is true. And you might get little nuggets, and some of them might really be valuable, and some of them might just be little nuggets. Yeah, so, that, you know what? We, we, we found gold when we found our employees. So. You have very good. Yes. I, have, I yes. have watched them week after week after week. I talked to them. They've been here for years, and uh, they're very committed, and you have a good team. So you and Brian do a good job, and you've got all these people around you, and I say congratulations. So Thank you. Uh, we just got a, one of the reviews we received was, you know, when you walk into a business and the staff is happy and everybody's laughing and having a good time, it really means a lot. Right. And Nobody make, wants to walk into a place where everybody's, you know, mm, humdrum. And did you just win an award? We did. Can we talk about it or you'd rather not? Uh, well, I, know I, you I would like to officially announce it once I, okay. I have it in fine. hand. All right, then I'll wait. Yes, okay. yes. Yeah, we won it's an award news. and didn't even know it. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> it's, it's cool to win a race you didn't even know you were in. Right, right. exactly. All right, how much money is this roast beef 12. sandwich? Okay, now this is only today, right? This is like a specialty It's item. a special. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. so you know, you, you have never to... know. You never might, know. We might have it back, but right. yep. Right. I mean, we cook our the the roast beef here. Oh, I could see you roasting the beef and slicing it. Is oh, that, oh yeah. I could see him back there thinly doing it. sliced. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. Well, very good. Yes. Okay. Anything else we need to know? What time is this baby shower? Oh well, well I will tell you. That's a you, private party. I guess. It is a private party. Okay. Um, the baby shower is at four, but we will be closing off the back dining area promptly at one. One today. Okay. Yeah. All right. So can people get here and have? Breakfast or lunch today up till one o'clock in the back and up till two o'clock in the front. Is Correct. That right? Correct. Okay. So what what are our hours again? We're closed on Tuesdays. Is Only that right? day we're closed is Tuesday. We're open Monday through Wait Wednesday through Monday. Wednesday through Monday. Okay, yep. that's right. Seven, Seven to, to two. two. Seven yep. to two. And Breakfast if you want to place lunch. an order, <sighs> you can. Out. Yep. Come and get takeout. Three zero two four two four zero two two two. Four two four zero two 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 and takeout. They'll take it out to your car for you. Is that's that correct? Right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Anything else? I think that's it. Well, thank you very much. I'm excited. Thank have you a good for time thank today. you for letting us have a, the black yep, the backdrop here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> All right. Very good. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. See ya. Bye bye. And I'm wrapping this up for you. Yes, please, <laughs> please. All right. All right. Top flight heating and air. You hear me talk about Ryan Brower every week, and I've been very happy with this young man, and it's been fun watching his business grow. So if you need heating and air work, so it's the time of year, you probably ought to get your heater serviced, okay? Um, so if you want to, they can come out and they can service your heater. They can check it over, make sure everything's in good order. Had a friend of mine, uh, had him come out the other day, and they found a couple little things wrong that they needed to know about, and they were just so thankful that they found them. So if you want somebody that's going to come out, that's going to arrive on time, it's going to do what they say they're going to do, it is top flight heating and air. Now, if you say, I'm busy, I don't want to wait around all day. You don't have to wait around all day. You literally can go to their website right now, right now. It's calltopflight.com. And you can see available appointments, and you can book one right now. So if you say, wow, that's amazing. I don't have to wait around a half a day. No, you do not. Okay, they'll narrow down the time. They'll even call you when they're on their way or text you or whatever. They tell you who's coming, and it's really a nice pleasant experience they are uh, their vehicles are lettered uh their people are in uniforms they have 
you know, some supplies on the trucks. And uh, they have a little program you can get into for $20 a month. They'll come out twice a year, once a year to service your heater, once a year to service your air conditioner, and uh, to make sure everything's in tip-top shape. In the event you need them, something goes wrong, and you're in the club, the club's only 20 bucks a month. So you just sign up, and they hit your credit card for $20 a month. But in the event you need their service, your service call is waived if you're in the club. And on top of that, you will get priority service, and you will also get a discount on the repair if you need a repair. So anyway, it's a great little club, $20 a month, peace of mind. You know they're going to be there twice a year to take a look at things, and then anything in between, you get priority service and so on. They also sell tankless hot water heater systems. They sell brand new, brand new heating and air conditioning systems, and they sell ductless systems. So if you have any questions, call this number, 302 329 eight zero zero three three two nine eight zero zero three call topflight.com and uh, schedule your appointment if you want to tell them jim weller sent you you know somebody else that i like to promote that does a really good job is dawn kennedy i'll be there cleaning and care okay dawn is an owner operator okay and uh, she does a really good job she cleans so if you want your house cleaned if you are uh wanting to buy somebody a gift buy them a house cleaning if you own a business and you have offices or something like that and you need your offices clean they can do that if you need your showroom clean they can do that if you have a camper like a travel trailer or a motor home and you're getting ready to put it away for the winter and you want it all cleaned up they can do that not the outside but the inside okay uh, they do uh, airbnbs they clean them they also if you own rental properties and a tenant moves out and somebody else is moving in and you need it cleaned they can do that for you also. So it's I'll be there cleaning and care. They have discounts for first responders, seniors, and military. So give Dawn a call, okay? You can text her or call her at this number, 302-362-7064. That's 302-362-7064, 7064. I'll be there cleaning and care, and uh, tell her Jim Weller sent you, all right? Uh, Leah Betts is not here today. Snooky Vent is not here today. And Pat Vent are not here today. So we just want to say that we miss you very much. And we uh, appreciate your support and your friendship. Snooky did call in earlier. It was nice to hear from him. He's doing bookkeeping. And I hear Leah is doing much better. So happy birthday, Jimmy Weller. Happy birthday, Rob Book. Um, I got my second billboard being put up very soon right there at a dry zone. So if you want to advertise on my electronic billboards, I would love to cut you a deal and make you the first advertiser on the one that's going to go there by dry zone. Now, I'd like to take a minute and talk to somebody else if they could join me. Hunter Alton, have you got time to talk to me for a minute? Hunter Alton? Hunter Alton has a lot going on. And uh, he's been uh, working with Colin for a few years now, I believe, or it probably feels like it anyway. And um, we're going to take a picture of Jim and Hunter. Are you ready? All right. Hunter had a big event yesterday, and I just want to say sure congratulations. Did. Okay. Thank you. He did the weather. He did a good job of it. And then he went and got married. Yep. Wow. So how long have you guys been together? We have been together for seven and a half years. Seven and a half years. Okay. Yeah. Who hit on who first? Uh, it was actually her. Oh, she? Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I How'd was, you two meet? Well, I used to help with a music venue down in Berlin. Really? At a church called The Pulse. And okay. we got the meet through there. I was with someone else at that time, but oh. she always had a crush on me for, no kidding. for many, many years. We've known each other for about 11 years in total, but we've okay. been together for seven and a half. And she had a crush on you. Yes, she did. So how did she break the news to you she had a crush on you? Uh, when me and the other one split. <laughs> oh, really? She was right there, boy. She yeah, seized the moment. She did. She did not waste the opportunity. <laughs> really? Wow. Well, good. How cool is that? So, uh, so you got married yesterday. I did. I watched it online. So can people go back and watch that? Yeah, ceremony? it's still available on there. It's on Hunter Allen's On my page. Facebook. Okay. I'll be able to download it so I have it as a memory. I would do that. <laughs> And I would store it in more than one place, just in case. Yeah. You know, but oh, yeah. anyway. Um, so uh, how's, it, how's it been being married so far? Oh, well, it's still been busy because okay. I'm running on very little sleep from last okay. night All right. <laughs> to well, be good. here this morning. 
Well, to help I'm out proud with of you. I've watched you do the weather. I've watched you work with Colin. You help here on Saturdays. Um, now you uh, are a husband, and you got a whole new role ahead of you. Yeah, a lot so, of things have happened in the past few months. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, bought a house. Didn't and you? bought a house. Yeah, almost bought a house once or twice. Yeah. You know, so. It's it's so, been a process the past year and a half. Yeah. If anyone says that buying a home is easy, it's not. Right. <laughs> it right. is far from it. But you had good people working with you, and you got it done. You got you it done. Finish line. So, well, where does she work? She works in uh, Del Mar at Starbucks as really? a manager there really mm-hmm. the brand new building yeah the brand new store okay very good yep. they built it just for her <laughs> <laughs> what it seems like it happened to be perfect for where we are since it's only like that 10 minutes nice. away yeah, yeah. It all worked because out. she used to work in the one in north ocean city and that's over an hour away from oh, us oh my goodness so she had to transfer and with that new wow. store being open that she was one of the first ones to, to be nice? there to open it Wow, good. So now you're married. Got a honeymoon coming up sometime. Yeah, we're gonna think about it in the spring since we gotta would, replenish our uh, savings right. from buying the house and the I wedding. Would, I would take a trip to Wildwood, New Jersey. Sometime. Wildwood, New Jersey. Yeah. Don't mention any names, but I'm just saying I would just take <laughs> I would take a trip over there just for the fun of it. What I really um, want to do is I want to try and go out west during April so we can catch over to the, Hartley. You mean? No, like oh, further out west. We may have to go to Texas for this, but oh. it's for the total solar eclipse next year. Really? Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe TV Del Marva will just sponsor that trip for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buy your first tank of gas or something. Yeah, we're basically going to be just camping out like wherever it is because oh, it really? just the, because it runs through like central Texas all the way up into the Great Lakes. But so the Great you don't Lakes, want to be cooped up in a hotel. You want to be out there with nature. Well, it's just depending on where it's actually going to be good weather then. Okay. Because just the Great Lakes it. area in the spring is not really the most clear, but Texas usually is. Okay. All so right. it's going to be a play it by ear, and I didn't want to get a single place. I kind of want to okay. see right. where it is, and we're just so going to drive. So you're going to drive? I'm going to drive out there, yeah. Wow. You're going to be going on a Saturday? Are you going to miss a Saturday? <laughs> playing, playing everything around Saturday mornings as best you can. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to say? No, I, I think that's it. But what I, is your I have wife's name? Noel. Noel. But right. I have been with uh, Colin and TV to Marvel now for now year three. Year three. Year well, three. You've done a great job, though. Thank you. People love your weather reports. Oh, yeah. You I have he- quite a following. I hear it a lot. You were <laughs> a people. compliment to TV Del Mar. <laughs> and the, the two of you have done good together, in other words. And now uh, in the works of doing things for a national level, and I was like, my gosh, I'm going to be on TV screens for like 70, potentially 77 yes. million people. <laughs> You're going to need a hairstylist. <laughs> I'm voting for some clothing with writing and, and having sponsors for that. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. Is that okay? All right. Yep. That All right. Thanks a lot, okay. Hunter. Thank Congratulations. You. I'm happy for you. All right. There he goes. Hunter Alton. Okay. If you don't know him, look him up on Facebook. Real good guy. Real good guy. Okay. Um, I don't know what else to do except maybe turn on the phones. Um, I do want to talk to you about my electronic billboard advertising. If you are out there and you would like to advertise on an electronic billboard, I've got one of them. On 113 in Ellendale, 20 some thousand people a day go by. Um, it's very bright and uh, it's very colorful, and we can be very creative with your message, okay? It's very affordable. I mean, having a message designed is only like 150 bucks a month, and uh, we can get you on the billboard for about 1500 a month for both sides. And you get 20 or 30 or 40,000 impressions. I can't remember the number. I need to have those statistics handy, but it's, it's in the tens of thousands of impressions you would get in a 30-day period, okay? You can have two different messages rotating around if you want. So anyway, if you have any questions, any interest, I, I made this offer a couple times. I'll make it again today to somebody. So I'm going to offer this to somebody that wants to try the billboard. 500 bucks for a month. You can have one side or the other side, not both sides for that. Or for $1,000, you can buy both sides. But you can have one side of the billboard for one month and $150 to make the ad, but uh, 500 bucks. Uh, you can't buy it for month after month for that price, but if you want to you wanna wet your whistle, I'm looking for somebody that uh, you know has got a certain item. What is an item you would want to promote right now? Heating oil would probably be a good item. Uh, firewood would probably be a good item. 
So um, snow removal, get on the schedule for that. So think of something seasonal that you could put on the billboard for just a 30-day blitz, okay? Something that a nice picture of, you know, so uh, heating and air repair or maintenance or something like that. So if you're out there and you want to try my billboard for one month, one month for $500, you get one side or the other. You pick northbound or southbound. It's up to you. Or for 1000 bucks, you can have both. Um, you give me a call because that's not a forever offer. That is a one-time offer, and you can only have it for one month at that price because that's cheap. And the other billboard, if you go by Dry Zone, you're going to see it's up there. I didn't even know they put it up yet. So anyway, the structure is all up. I think they're waiting for the concrete to sure i don't know what they're waiting for the paint to dry i'm not sure and then they're going to put all the electronics on it okay and then it is going to be inside your car as you drive by it's going to just be boom right in your face it's right there so anyway if you are looking to advertise i'd love to talk to you i got other things i can help you with advertising also now what else is going on have we gave away any pillows today man i wish i had one to show you these pillows, they are so daggone popular, it's unbelievable, all right? It's a round pillow, and I think it's called Plushy. It's their labels. It's brand new. Everybody says, is it used? Is it new? It's a brand new pillow, okay? But people that got them love them. They love them so much, they come back and buy another one, all right? So if you would like a free pillow, again, if you've won something in the past week or two, please just let somebody else have a chance to get through on the phone because we do only have one phone line, all right? So you can call me now, and I will set a pillow aside for you, and you can have it for free and pick it up at Wellers in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday through Saturday, 302-422-7336. If you say, I don't have any idea what this pillow looks like, it's round, okay? So we'll use the word circular. It's round. It's a round pillow. I would say it's about 15 inches around. It's very plush. Um, I don't know what colors we have, but we have some colors. And you can have one for free. I don't know how much it's worth, $10, $15. I'm not sure. Okay? Um, I bought a whole bunch of them, hundreds of them when I bought them. So we're giving them away today on the show. If you want one of these pillows, call me right now. It's 302-422-7336. Okay? 422-7336. Now, another couple things I'd like to mention. We have some very weird stuff that we're coming across at Wellers in Bridgeville, okay? And you say, well, what's something weird? A recliner, okay? I remember I bought a house, and this recliner was in the house, all right? I don't know if it's a lazy boy or if you just have to be a lazy boy to use it. But anyway, it's $27, so if you happen to want to buy a recliner, I don't even know if we still have it. You have to call the store and see if we do. Let me take this call, and then I'm going to tell you some more odd things that we have at Weller's to get rid of. Caller, are you there? Yes. And who am I talking to? Hello? Are, are we there? Hello, hello? All right, call me back if you would. Call me back. All right, so anyway, let's go back to this recliner. You better write down the store's number and make sure it's there before you go there to get it, okay? So it's a really nice recliner, very comfortable. I sat in it and used it. Anyway, $27, if we still have it, 302, I forgot the number, 302-337-8228. Now, you know what else we got? We got brand new lacrosse. These are like $80 pair of boots. Go online and look up lacrosse five-buckle boots. Okay, they're boots, rubber boots, brand spanking new. Hi there. $5 a pair. And you say, they've got to be both rights. No, it's, it's you get one right foot boot and you get one left foot boot. Okay, there's nothing wrong. They don't leak. They're brand spanking new. $5 a pair. If you want to give somebody a unique Christmas gift, somebody's getting married and you don't know what kind of wedding gift to give them, somebody's uh, getting a new home and you want to give them a, a, a housewarming gift, um, give them a pair of these rubber boots. I mean, they will not forget you, I'm telling you. And you won't overspend. They're only $5 a pair, all right? You get a right one and a left one. Everybody thinks I'm getting rid of all the lefts or all the rights. No, you get a right and a left boot. Two boots for one money, $5 available at Wellers in Bridgeville. And if you would like to buy all 500 pairs, feel free to do so. 
Okay, my daughter Kim is tired of counting these at the end of the year when it's in the time. Uh, no, they're not used. They're brand new. Oh, it's the boots. You pull them over your shoes, I think. Oh, they're tall. Yep, they go up your ankle. You know, somebody like me, they'd almost be up to my hip. But I'm just saying they're, you know, up to my chin. But anyway, I don't know how tall they are, but I'm going to say 8, 10, 12 inches, something like that. 8, 10, 12, 14, whatever. They're like a sub. So anyway, anyway, and if they're too tall, just cut them off with a razor blade knife. But anyway, $5 for a pair of boots. Now, you know what else you could do? You could get one of these pairs of boots, and you could fill it with cash, and then you could donate it to somebody or give it to somebody. So anyway... We got these boots, all right? I told you about the canopies for 100 bucks. Uh, we're $69 below one of the big online companies in the world, and they have asked me to quit mentioning their name, so I'm going to do my best to not mention their name anymore. So anyway, they're $229 retail. I'm selling these canopies for 100 bucks. I thought we only sold like 50 or 70 I bought 300 of them. They tell me we have less than 150 left. I think we've sold 180 of them. I can't believe that we've sold these canopies. You know what I looked at the other day and didn't buy was basketball things. So it's like a stand and the, the backboard and the basketball hoop. And I just got nervous. I was going to buy like 188 of these things. And uh, by the time I made up my mind, they were gone. Hey, I hear the music. We are done on the radio. If you have any questions about anything, uh, just ask yourself in the mirror and you'll, you can answer yourself. All right. Other than that. Jim Weller's here. The show is over. God bless you. Have a good weekend. We will see you next Saturday morning. All right. I got to finish up on TV, Delmarva. And then I don't know if we're, oh, we're going we're gonna to do our little drawing here in a minute. If you ever want to talk about advertising on TV, Delmarva. Hey, I got a deal for you. If you want to be involved in sponsoring the Milford Community Parade, I got a few spots left. So just give me a call. It's Wednesday night. So you got to hurry up. 302-542-9157. I got to go. I'll see you. Goodbye.